So don't forget, if you want to send us a tweet, hashtag Madeira2022, please wear a face mask at all times above your nose and mouth. That's a face mask above your nose and mouth at all times, please. And if you want to send us a tweet, hashtag Madeira2022. Não esquecer a utilização da máscara, utilizem sempre, por favor, a máscara a todo o tempo dentro desta piscina. E sempre que nos quiserem enviar um tweet, metam o hashtag Madeira2022, interajam connosco e com a poxa.
Good evening and welcome back to Madeira. We are in the capital of the island, Funchal, for day five finals of the World Para Swimming Championships 2022. We are at the Pentada Olympic Swimming Pools Complex. There's a scene outside. It's perched on the hillside here in Funchal. And there is the scene inside the venue tonight. Another 23 world champions to crown tonight. It's been a great first four days of competition. the sights and scenes of the first four days of competition and of the island and we've got a good view of the island on the hillside Liz but um, just looking out there there's that picture we've become familiar with on the side of the pool on the wall as the officials make their way out to be introduced to the crowd my name is Paul Noble I'll be taking you through the action and Liz Johnson, as always, will be joining me in the commentary position. Good evening, Liz. Good evening, Paul. Here's what we've got to look forward to tonight. We start off with the women's 100 breaststroke in the SB5 classification. Moving through up to the 400s again. We enjoy a good close 400, and those S9 400s should be very tight indeed. 50 meter events, 200 meter individual medley events, a range of strokes, a range of distances, and a range of classifications as well. And we'll culminate with the mixed 4x100 meters medley relay, 34 points. Swimmers marshalling in the marshalling area, and there is Poncha. And we met Poncha earlier, Liz. Well, you did, you got your photo <laughs> with. <laughs> Him? It's called tradition. Him? Them? I don't know. Him, First, them. We'll yeah. go with them. Who got your picture? Yep. And there you can see Poncha not allowed into the call room as the athletes of the first final get called up to the final point. They'll go up that ramp and appear through the tunnel. Would you call it a tunnel? Yeah, they come through the tunnel there between the two big screens in the venue. They'll just go up the ramps there. There's two massive screens at the, the start end here, as you can see there. And in the centre of those screens, that's where the athletes will appear from. For the finals, will be introduced individually, and they will fan their way out to their lanes. The outside lanes introduced first, working into the middle lanes, which will be the fastest swimmers from the entry times or from the qualification heats this morning. Again, just a reminder, classifications, it's S1 to S10 for swimmers with a physical impairment, S1 being the most, S1 being the most impaired, S10 being the least impaired, S11 to 13 for those with a visual impairment, the S11 swimmers have no vision at all, and the S14 class is for those with an intellectual impairment. We've got all those classes on view tonight at various events. There's the Dutch. They will be hoping for a couple of medals tonight. They've had great success and they've made their way onto the top page of the, the medal table, list, haven't they, this uh, last couple of days? Yeah, they have. They're a small team, but they're a very successful team. And they've always got a good crowd with them as well. But there you can see the New, Ze New Zealand fans traveled over as well. They'll have something to cheer about tonight. Cameron Leslie broke a world record for them this morning in the 50 meters freestyle. And they've got some of their younger athletes racing in these finals as well tonight. Yeah, younger athletes have done pretty well for New Zealand, forcing their way into finals. A few teenagers in the New Zealand team. And some of them are due to swim later tonight. Women's 100 breaststroke SB5 is the first event that we will see tonight. 
didn't have a qualification heat for this one this morning, Liz. So some of the swimmers, a little bit of an unknown quantity of uh, what kind of form the swimmers are in. They're led out by Sofia Fedorenko. The Ukrainian swimmer makes her way to lane number seven, Ayala Tufik. Medalist at the World Championships before for Egypt. She is the African record holder. Maori Yui from Japan, a medalist earlier this week. Bronze medalist in the individual medley. Maria Sakonis, Paralympic Games representative for Greece in Tokyo last year. Elma Bjorn, Bjorn's daughter, the experienced Iceland swimmer. She was a bronze medalist at the World Championships back in 2017 in Mexico. But Grace Harvey from Great Britain, she will be the firm favourite for this one. Paralympic Games, silver medalist, already with two medals to her name this week. Grace Harvey, very much the informed swimmer in this 100 metres breaststroke SB5 for women. Grace Harvey goes in lane number four, next to Bjorn's dot here in lane five. It's a long-standing world record held by the great German champion Kirsten Brun. That record set way back in 2010. This is the women's 100 metres breaststroke. Grace Harvey's impressed us this week, though, Liz, hasn't she? Yeah, this is her main event, but she's been swimming personal best times all week, already been on the podium a couple of times. But this will be the title that she has come for. This is the SB5 classification. And we'll see a range of starts across the pool. Some swimmers starting from the water. Some people starting from the dive. Some from the sit start. Grace Harvard being held in position by the support staff. They're not allowed to add propulsion, but they can hold the swimmers in position for the start. And Grace Harvey heading that spearhead in the early stages of this one. Yeah, Harvey going well here. She'd have superb swim to take a silver medal in her debut Paralympic Games. And this is a real opportunity for her, for her to take a global title for the first time. She's looking strong. There'll be a race on behind her. There's a real opportunity for those athletes to get on the podium, but expect Grace Harvey to take this one out quickly. It's a real tussle for the second position at the moment. Tufik, Sakona and Bjorn Stottir all in a row. But Grace Harvey has a significant lead at the halfway point, 47.41. We'll just check the, the gap between her and the second position swimmer. It's something like almost seven seconds ahead of the Icelander. Yeah, Grace Harvey looking very strong here. She's been powerful in all of her events this week so far. Brilliant 100 meter freestyle, and you can see she's got a, such a superb technique. Took the long standing British record from Nairi Kindred last year, and she's just gone from strength to strength. Well, Grace Harvey, there is no one else in sight as she comes to the last 15 meters. That is that little red marker on the lane ropes. And Grace Harvey is stretching away from the rest of the field. It's a real tussle for the silver and bronze medal positions. But Grace Harvey is now coming home. She is going to claim gold here. It's going to be a full set of medals at these championships for Grace Harvey. An excellent time of 141.19. She's absolutely delighted with that one. Signalling to the British team in the stands. But here it comes. Bjorn's dot here. It's going to be another World Championship medal for Iceland's Bjorn's dot here. And right at the top, it might be a medal for the Egyptian Ayala Tufik. In for the bronze medal position for Egypt. It's an African record for Tufik. A lifetime best for her to take the bronze medal in that one. But Grace Harvey, the class of the field, Liz, and she did not disappoint. No, and she came in with a big favourite tag hanging over her head. So she knew she could do it, but that pressure always adds to the tension. And sometimes you then get the victory, but maybe you don't get the time. But you can see how delighted she is there with that superb time. She's edging closer to that magic 140 mark every time she swims this one. And she'll be pleased with the week that she's having here in Funchal. She certainly will, hitting her best times at the major championship. 
of the year. She will be absolutely delighted with that one. You saw her signalling to her teammates in the stands at the end there. Bjorn Stotia winning that close contest for silver. And there was Tufik just edging another two swimmers. Maori Yu and Maria Tsakona. But there's Grace Harvey. She wins that world title. And there's the Egyptian. Well, what a great swim she had. That's the time to do a lifetime best for the Egyptian champion. Yeah, she's emotional and her, her parents have just gone up <laughs> from the stairs past us with her coaching team to meet her at the swim down pool. They're emotional too and deservedly so. Well, Grace Harvey takes the title in the women's 100 breaststroke SB5 in 141.1. Nine. Thelma Bjorn Bjorn's not here in silver medal position and Ayala Tufik, an African record to take the bronze. I did wonder what the uh, the noise was around us, Liz. Good job, you're, uh, you're on point there. Well, I looked because it was there was a lot of noise and I, yes, they were over the moon. Women's 400. Freestyle for the S9 classification. Coming out on to poolside. There's the home favourite, Susanna Vega. Her big event is the 50 front crawl. Maybe the 400, a little bit too long for the Portuguese champion. 16 year old Beatriz Narida Maldonado from Spain goes. In the outside lane, Yulia Gorlachuk picked up a bronze medal at the European Championships last year in this event. Summer Schmidt has had. Fifteen year old from Croatia, great swim in the qualification heat. Goes in lane number six. Was an even better swim from this 18 year old. Agata Pauli from France. She qualifies in third position behind the big two in the centre of the pool. Tony Shaw goes in lane five, the Paralympic Games bronze medalist. Next to the Paralympic Games silver medalist, Sofia Konkoli of Hungary. Sofia Konkoli, Paralympic Games silver medalist and European champion. Goes alongside Tony Shaw of Great Britain in the centre lanes. The great Natalie Dutoy holds the world and championship records. The South Africans mark unlikely to be beaten tonight. The big two in the centre lanes. What a thing this it's going to be a contest between Sophia Conkley and Tony Shaw. Yeah, what they want to make sure that they do is not get sucked into each other's race plans. There's been a lot of close finishes in these S9 women's races already this week. And Tony Shaw, she picked up a bronze medal earlier in the week, but she's also been in that fourth place position that she doesn't want to be in again. So she won't do that this time. She will swim her own race here. And you can see her going well there, turning first at the first 50. Only 0.13 from Summer Schmidt up in lane two for the United States of America. And it is the young French lady, Pauli, going well as well at this stage. But Sophia Congley, she finishes very, very strongly in all of her races. She came through at the end to take that 100 meters butterfly. But there you can see the American Schmidt going very well in the early stages. Summer Schmidt, she represented the USA in the Paralympic Games last year. She made the final in this 400 freestyle as well, finishing in seventh position. Tony Shaw just heads the American. Gata Pauli from France. It's her major international debut here in Madeira. She was fourth in the world rankings this year, but she's really stepped it up in the heats this morning, and she's going along very nicely in the final. Tony Shaw still leads Conkley as they come down to the 150 mark. This 400 freestyle was on day one of the Paralympic programme. Uh, Tony Shaw picked up the first medal 
in the pool for the Great Britain team on that occasion. And she's looking great in the early stages, but Conkley still very close. And Summer Schmidt having a great race in these early stages. Yeah, Schmidt going well up there at the top of the shot. You can see her now swimming. Very similar impairment to Tony Shaw, who's swimming in lane five. And you can't read too much into the positions in this race because in the heat this morning, they were coasting through it. In fact, I saw Tony, Tony Shaw earlier today and she said that they didn't have to go that fast. So they were all playing it pretty safely. And you can see now Conkley edging her way up. She's going with Tony Shaw, but it is Shaw that leads at the halfway point, 221.97 for Schmidt, holding on to that second position at this stage. Yeah, Schmidt from the USA there having a very good week here in Funchal at uh, these championships. A number of great performances, some of the big names missing from the US team, but the youngsters have really stepped up this week and they've taken some surprise gold medals. There is Summer Schmidt, she's in a great position here. Conkley now trying to come back on Tony Shaw and she's just gone ahead of the American, but Tony Shaw has that lead around about a second there as they go over to the 250 mark yeah tony shaw very much has swum her own race here sophia conkley though now looking to go to the legs shaw can go to her legs too but conkley fighting to make sure that she doesn't leave herself with too much to do in that final 100 meters but tony shaw has given herself a real chance here well, Tony Shaw and Sophia Conkley, they have competed against each other the last few years. Tony Shaw had a very successful World Championships back in 2019. Two silvers, two bronzes individually and a couple of really golds as well. And she has got the edge on Sophia Conkley. We know the Hungarian has got a very, very strong finish. But Tony Shaw in a great position here as they're coming up to the final turn. Summer Schmidt is clear in third position looks like it's going to be another medal for the u.s team in bronze medal position but the gold and silver still up for grabs here as they come to this final turn yeah tony shaw still holding on to that lead as we go into the final 50 meters we'll watch the clock conkley has managed to shave a tenth of a second off the lead but there's still a lot to do and now you can see tony shaw kicking for home that camera angle is confusing everybody but sophia conkley is making her move tony shaw will dig deep well tony shaw is digging deep is she gonna hold off the challenge of sophia conkley from hungary the hungarian looking really really strong in the closing stages here it is gonna be really close here maybe conkley might just have it is it gonna be tony shaw into the wall it's gonna be close it's tony shaw who takes it in 445.55 Conkley in second position and in third place it is Summer Schmidt for the USA but what a battle between the two Paralympic medalists and this time it's Tony Shaw who comes out on top she is the world champion well she worked hard for that one she went out she knew that this lady in the picture now would have that strong finish and she absolutely did but Summer Schmidt of the USA she went out for it as well and we've seen a lot of fast swimming from lanes outside on the edges of the pool and another medal won there from lane two well what a great swim there from great prince tony shaw just getting in ahead of sophia conkley the hungarian was coming back all the time but what strength from the 18 year old tony shaw and it really did come down to the wire there Tony Shaw kept her head. Sophia Conkley swam her own race and Conkley didn't do anything wrong there. She did have a really, really strong last 100 meters. That will have been her game plan all along, but Shaw just dug deep and maybe motivated by a few of those fourth place finishes. She didn't want to be on the wrong end of this touch and it paid off. She can now call herself an individual world Whoa. champion. Just in there, Tony Shaw, 0.14 of a second. Look at that. She timed that absolutely perfectly with her good arm, Tony Shaw, and that's what made the difference. She thought that Conkley was just going to come past Tony Shaw in the closing stages, but the Great Britain swimmer really held on well. 
Tony Shaw takes the women's 400 meters freestyle title in the S9 classification. Sofia Konkoli from Hungary in silver medal position and Summer Schmidt from the USA with the bronze. Well, that was a good race, wasn't it, Liz? It was, and I think it might have just set us up for what we're in store for tonight. The men will follow out in just a moment or two, and it's a very, very loaded final for their S9 400 meters freestyle final again. So everybody just needs to catch their breath before we go for round two. Oh, well, the Italians will have good chance here in this 400, Simone Barlon's been absolutely on fire and he is in this race. Men's 400 meters freestyle. S9. First of the two Spanish swimmers in this one, Ariel Shrink Martinez goes in at lane number eight, Barry McClements from Ireland in his second final of the week, the Irish swimmer. 18-year-old Belgian Sam de Visser goes in lane number seven. Three times a world champion in this event, Brendan Hall of Australia. He will be a threat from lane two, a world champion. In the heats this morning, goes in lane number six. William Martin, the Paralympic champion from Australia. Two silvers already this week. Dearly love to claim a gold medal. And here is the man who has claimed two gold medals. Simone Barlam of Italy. World record in the 100 freestyle. He's behind this man in qualification. Ugo Didier of France, Paralympic silver medalist Brendan Hall still has the world record set that when he won the world title in Montreal in 2013. The only man Please that's been under the 410 mark. Hugo Didier in the fast lane, the French swimmer in lane number four, Simone Barlon, world record swim in the 100 freestyle, goes in lane number five. The two Australians will be a threat in two and three. Martin, the Paralympic champion. Didier, the Paralympic silver medalist, the world record holder, Brendan Hall. Well, it is Simone Barlam, William Martin and Brendan Hall who enter this race as the three fastest men in the world this year with less than a quarter of a second separating them. So we can be sure that there is going to be a battle over these next seven and a half lengths. But as is tradition, that blue hat of Italy, Simone Barlam there in lane five, turning first at the first turn, 28.63 for him. World champion Garrido Brun of Spain going very well in this early stages. And Brendan Hall stamp, trying to stamp his authority too. But there is a very long way to go. There is indeed. Brendan Hall there just hitting his teammates all very cagey in these opening stages of this one. They're just coming down to the 100 mark. Brendan Hall had a long unbeaten run in this event. Took the world title in 2010, 2013 and 2015. And he was just picked by the Spanish swimmer for that title in 2019. Barlam with the blue cap just leads the field there. Hugo Didier to the left of Simone Barlam there, the French swimmer who has impressed us this week, Liz. He has really come through. His times have improved over the last couple of years and the Frenchman, silver medalist in the Paralympic Games last year, just missed out by around about a second to Martin of Australia. Yeah, and Hugo Didier has been finishing strongly all week here in Funchal. He turned fifth 
in the 100 meters to come through for a brilliant position on the podium and we can see already typically he leaves it a bit later but he's gone already and he's overhauled Barlam. he's now got about body length lead and still going well it is defending champion Jacobo Garrido Brun for Spain and Brendan Hall in that yellow hat of Australia at the top of the picture but at the halfway point it's Hugo Didier leading the way for France Brendan Hall just in at second position there Barlam now dropped to third position that blue cap of the Italian but this is impressive from Hugo Didier we've seen him swim well in the individual medley as well to come through to take a silver medal for that Barlam just on the feet of Hugo Didier now Didier will be aware that Barlam is likely to be strong if he is in contention in the latter stages of this race but Didier now with about 0.7 of a second of an advantage Barlam still trying to stay in contention with the Frenchman here as they come down towards the 300 mark well Didier went into that wall well but it was Barlam that got the better push off the wall and he did, he's a tall man he made up some distance there but Didier breathing towards the Italian in fact they're breathing towards each other so they're very aware of their positions as we turn to go onto that final 100 meters and expect there to be fireworks well Balam is closing with every stroke showing his strength here he's taking it to Hugo Didier now as they come down towards the 350 mark they'll come down towards that final turn they're breathing away from each other now Hugo Didier and Simone Barlam absolutely stroke for stroke as they come into this final turn yeah Didier which will try to hold on we'll expect Barlam to have the better of the turns and you can see there only marginally but it did open up a little bit six 100 separating the two athletes as they come down to these final stages they are now breathing toward each other that does up the pressure and Barlam trying to pull away from the Frenchman oh the blue cap of Italy maybe just edging it now what has Hugo Didier got left in these closing stages they're coming in to the last final Five meters now it looks like it's gonna go to Barlam did he kicks again but it does go to Barlam 410.78 a sensational time for Simone Barlam he's the champion again it's a European record for him Ugo Didier in the silver medal position again the Frenchman gave absolutely everything there and Brendan Hall from Australia will pick up another world championship medal his four his fifth world championship medal across the years but the italians celebrate and no wonder that was an incredible swim again for simone barlam well there is brandon hall with that bronze medal you can see will martin once again finishing a race looking at the scoreboard maybe in a bit of disbelief here he swam so well at the paralympic games last year but this is such a competitive event and we said it was going to be close and it came down to the wire and Simone Barnum with a superb victory there Hugo Didier though what a time from him as well they pushed each other on and these two are getting very used to racing each other a lot and we, it's not the last battle we've seen between those two absolutely not Simone Barlam what strength he had in the closing stages as did Hugo Didier as well Barlam we expected to go out fast which he did but in that center part of the race the middle part of the race it was Hugo Didier who tried to force himself on the Italian and just force a lead there but in the end Barlam what strength he showed in that final 100 yeah Didier tried to go early he tried to break the field but because he knew Simone Barlam would have that fast finish the good push off the wall, the good kick, and it did. It was so, so close. And in the end, Didier probably took a stroke and a half extra. He could have glided in there a little bit, but it still wouldn't have been enough to beat Simone Barlam here tonight. Well, a real quality race in the men's 400 freestyle S9. Simone Barlam takes the title in a new European record ahead of the Frenchman Hugo Didier and another world championship medal for Brendan Hall of Australia. Well, excellent 400 freestyles we have seen.
We now move on to the women's 100 metres butterfly in the S10 classification. 17 year old New Zealand swimmer. Lee Mason Fox needs to know. European Scott champion Bikini. Alessia Scortagini. She might be a threat from the outside lane. She in goes in lane, lane number one. Colombia, Silver Maria medalist Herrera in the 53 Zapata. style here in Madeira. Maria Barreta Zapata two, of Colombia. 13 year old Kisenga Holtz from Hungary. Picked up a surprise in medal in the 400 Zapata. freestyle a couple of days Ruger. ago. There is Lisa Kruger. Two gold medals to her name so far at these in championships. Three, a former European Polo, champion in this event. Uh, Olivia Tavoyska, 400 metres silver five, medalist. America, also a medalist Michaela in this event Jenkins. at the World Championships. There is the world and Paralympic champion in Michaela Jenkins of Australia. the USA. But the fastest into this final was Jasmine Greenwood of Australia, the Paralympic silver medalist, the world championship bronze medalist. And Greenwood has been on good this form this week. She qualifies fastest final. from the heats this morning. Michaela Jenkins close behind in second position. They were the only two swimmers under the 110 mark. And we know there are swimmers elsewhere in the field who are capable of breaking that 110 barrier notably Scortacchini right up there in lane number one the Italian yes, Scortacchini will be a danger up there in lane one for Italy in the heat this morning it was all a bit cagey not much to separate the athletes but that yellow cap of Australia's Jasmine Greenwood going very well down this first 50 meters she does have the advantage over Michaela Jenkins off the start but Jenkins tends to come through strongly in the latter stages of the length and as we go into the turn all eyes will be on the scoreboard as Greenwood turns first 30.99 just 0.23 ahead of Jenkins with Kruger of the Netherlands go well in lane six the third at this stage oh a really close contest here at the front of the field it's a yellow cap of Australia it's Greenwood maybe just edging it but here comes Michaela Jenkins with that black cap of the USA Lisa Kruger is not out of this one yet it may be the yellow cap of Australia just holding on Lisa Kruger trying to come back now in the closing stages it could be Greenwood the yellow cap all on the finish and it goes to Kruger by four one hundredths of a second what a finish from the Netherlands swimmer 108.07 0.07. Lisa Kruger is the world champion. Jasmine Greenwood in the silver medal position. And Michaela Jenkins in the bronze. Lisa Kruger, how strong was she in the closing stages of that one? Well, she just came through like a train at the end there. Jasmine Greenwood just pro pro processing that result there. She did everything she could. She attacked it from the front. And it just comes down to the meeting of everybody at the end. And it all was on that touch. And Lisa Kruger was just the person who was, she looked like she was coming through, but actually what it means is she was slowing down the least there in those closing stages. And she held on there to take the victory. She turned third, finished first. Well, it was a really close contest there at the front. Greenwood took it out as we thought that she might. We've seen her go very fast in the the opening stages of our events so far this week. Jenkins had a good turn. Greenwood had the better of the turn. But Kruger coming back in the closing stages. Scott Takini right at the top. Wasn't too far away from the medals as well. But in the end, all on the touch. Oh, and Lisa Kruger just takes it. The gap was only four one hundredths of a second. And Lisa Kruger always very expressive at the end of races. Swim, Lisa, swim. She absolutely did. Yeah, do you remember when she won the European Championships? And um, do you remember how she celebrated? She was so shocked to win. And they've got such a good following 
the Dutch. The team, they always got the Orange Army in. They always make good noise. They're getting a bit of rivalry from the Polish fans here this week, but a very well-supported team and a great Who's victory there for Kruger. Lisa Kruger wins the world title by four one hundredths of a second ahead of Jasmine Greenwood of Australia with Michaela Jenkins of the USA in the bronze medal position. In Lene, representing Spain, Davi Levek. The men's 100 meters butterfly in the S10 classification. Led out by David Levec. His first world championships back in 2002. The Spanish swimmer Alan Ogozalek, European medalist last year in the 400 freestyle. Alexander Elliott, 400 freestyle medalist here at these championships. And Ricardo Menciotti, the first of two Italians in this final. James Hollis, man, making his comeback for the Great Britain team. We haven't seen him at a major championship since 2014. He's back in a final again. We'll go alongside his teammate Cole Pierce, the world champion and Par the world championship Paralympic Games bronze medalist. But the man who is the favourite for this one. Three gold medals already to his name at these championships this week. Here's the Italian Stefano Raimondi. Raimondi tops the world rankings this year. This is the man his fastest from the qualification heats this morning. The Australians on either side of him. World record and championship record held by Maxim Krypak of Ukraine. Raimondi. And Cole Pierce. Two Paralympic Games medalists last year. And world championship medalists back in 2019. Yeah, getting away well there in the middle is that blue cap of Stefano Raimondi Corpius. And a brilliant 200 meter individual medley showed his butterfly strength there. But Raimondi already going for this one. He knows that the Australians finished fast. He knows that James Hollis is swimming well. But Raimondi will lead at the turn. Raimondi goes over very, very fast, 25.48. It's a second and a half lead over Cole Pierce and his countrymate Menciotti. But Raimondi, well, he means business here. It's a blanket finish here almost for the, the rest of the field. But Raimondi is away and clear, and he is ahead of the two Australians on either side of him. It's going to be an excellent swim from Stefano Raimondi. He is going to take this one by a clear margin just outside the world record time. Raimondi takes it, Cole Pearson for second place, and it's two medals for Australia. Alex Safi taking the bronze in 58-2-0, just ahead of Menciotti and Hollis. But the Italians celebrating, and that was an incredible swim there from Raimondi. Yeah, he signaled his intent from the start. We saw, the, well, then we can see the Australians celebrating because they had two superb swims to take the silver and the bronze medal. Alex Safi swimming exactly did as, as he did in the heat. He went out a bit slower than everybody else. He turned fourth, but he came back like a train and got himself on that podium. All smiles there for Colpius. He's upgrading his Paralympic Games bronze medalist to medal mother to a silver but the Italians are again another very well supported team here and actually Raimondi attacked that exactly the way that Simone Barlam attacks his races so it's a bit of an Italian trait here lead out from the front and just blow the field away because whilst the chase and pack were coming back and in their own little battles he was clear of the field and Riccardo Minchotti his teammate held on to that second position for about 70 meters of the race but the Australians came through strongly to take the silver and the bronze medal to join the incredible Raimondi on the podium. Raimondi delighted with that one slaps the water at the end 54.674 the Italian 
a championship record for Stefano Ramondi of Italy to take that title in the men's 100 butterfly S10. An oceanic record for Cole Pierce of Australia. He finishes in the silver medal position ahead of his teammate Alex we Safi, who takes the bronze. Well, we've been treated to some great races tonight, Liz, haven't we? And the action keeps on coming. It is the women's 50 metres freestyle for the S4 classification. We move to the other end of the pool. And Kat Swanepoel from South Africa leads them out. Two medals so far for Swanepoel. It's championships. Alexandra Stamatopoulou. Winner of the actual Kier A Madeira. Eli Miranda Herrera from Mexico, three times a world champion, including taking the title in our home games in Mexico City in 2017. Marta Fernandez Infante had a great day a couple of days ago, taking three medals on the one night. Patricia Pereira dos Santos, first of the two Brazilians. And there's the second, Lydia Vieira da Cruz, both members of the Brazilian, Brazilian relay team who took gold at these championships. Rachel Watson, a double Paralympic champion in this event. She won in 2016 and last year in Tokyo. She goes in five, but the world record holder, Tanya Schultz from Germany, goes in lane number four. Tanya Schultz set that world record in Berlin in April this year. She goes in the centre lane. She'll be a big favourite for this one. Tanya Schultz, relative newcomer to Paralympic swimming. Acquired our impairment as a re result of an accident in 2020. She's gone over to the side. Tanya Schultz will get in from the side of the pool. There she goes. We spoke about Tanya Schultz before this. She has been a real star for the German team since coming into the team just earlier this year. Yeah, and we've talked a lot about this throughout the week. People acquiring their impairments having to really adjust to life and you can see her there getting in from the side of the pool some of the athletes will start from the block some of them will be a, do a sit start they've all got their own techniques that they've developed but in that sense tanya schultz is still learning those finer skills but once she's up and into her stroke she's really really effective and efficient we talked about her connection with Kirsten Brun, the great German champion, who also became a Paralympic swimmer as a result of an accident. And she has been coaching and mentoring Tanya Schultz this year. World record holder goes in lane number four. Good start from the, the two Brazilians. They are fast away. Marta Fernandes Infante, they have one lane up. Also a good start for the Spanish swimmer. Yeah, the Spanish swimmer, they're doing butterfly at the top of your picture. And the two Brazilian hats still going very well. But you can see that turnover of speed from the arms of Tanya Schultz as she comes through the center to hit the front. And Rachel Watson trying to follow. She's coming through as well. And the battle is on, but the Germans looking strong here for another title. Well, it is going to be Tanya Schultz, I think. It's going to be just outside the world record mark. 38.09. Tanya Schultz takes it ahead of Rachel Watson in second position. In third place, it is Lydia Vera da Cruz of Brazil just getting in ahead of her teammate Parisha Pereira Dos Santos but once they got up into the strokes it was Tanya Schultz there Rachel Watson she will take the silver this time Paralympic champion and that'll be bronze to Brazil but Tanya Schultz as you said Liz once she got up and into her stroke she hit the front very quickly she's got a very fast shoulder rotation which really helps her on these shorter sprint events. We saw a great 100 meters freestyle from her at the beginning of the week. She broke the championship record twice in one day. So she's in form. She's just getting more quicker pretty much every time she swims. 
She missed that world record here tonight, but for her tonight, it was all about getting another victory. That's a great freestyle technique that we saw there as she came into the wall. For the level of impairment she's got, she does a fantastic job keeping that technique very flat and very efficient. Tanya Schultz takes the gold in the women's 50 freestyle S4 ahead of the Paralympic champion Rachel Watson from Australia. It was a Brazilian tussle for the bronze, which was won by Lydia Vieira da Cruz. Watson make the way out. So the winner here, of course, you mentioned back-to-back -back Paralympic gold medals. So she'll have a, an eye on Paris, perhaps, thinking... Here's well, Tanya Schultz. Are they the challenge? Just Vieira making her way. Cruz getting the bronze. Out of the pool there, the swimmers will go round. They'll go round to the mix zone, the, the media behind the scenes waiting for the interviews. But she's got to be delighted with her first world championships. The smile on her face says it all. Yeah, she's swimming really well. It's one thing doing really good times when nobody's watching or when you're at a meet. And especially, she swam really well in Berlin, which is obviously her home competition. And it's just, everything's a bit more familiar, but she's, she's upped it again. She's brought her A game here and she's reaping the rewards with another gold medal. On to the men's 50 freestyle for the S4 classification. Andreas Ehrenhofer. We saw his celebration earlier in the week when he took a medal in the individual medley. He goes in lane number eight, Joe Gisong from Korea. Three gold medals in the Rio Paralympic Games in 2016 for the Korean Paralympic Games bronze medalist from Italy. Luigi Beggiato was in seven. Ariel Malyar, one of the, the two Malyar brothers here at these championships, had an excellent swim to qualify in lane number two from the heats. Two bronze medals already this week for this man, Angel De Jesus, Camacho Ramirez, who goes in lane number six, Taka Suzuki from Japan, the Paralympic Games, silver medalist, Paralympic Games gold medalist. In lane number five, Ami Umer Dadon of Israel. But they were all eclipsed in qualification by this man, Cameron Leslie, the world champion from 2019. And a new world record in the heats this morning. Yeah, Cameron Leslie, definitely the favourite for this one. He sat out the Paralympic Games, but he's back and swimming better than ever. First man to dip under the 37 mark here this, this morning. Let's see what he's got tonight. Come on, Leslie, it will go in lane four next to the Paralympic champion, Ami Omer Dadon. Come on, Leslie, likely to get the better start from Dadon, but once they get into their stroke, Dadon may well close the gap. Dadon going from the water. Leslie going from the block, as will Suzuki, as will Camacho. Can Cameron Leslie follow up that world record swim from this morning? Well, Leslie and Suzuki got very similar strokes there. You'll see in lanes four and three. Amir Maidadon of Israel did get away well there in that white hat in the closest yellow lane to us and it is a bit of a tussle at this stage. Cameron Leslie with that high stroke rate trying to repeat his efforts of this morning but Amir Maidadon going with him. Well the Paralympic champion against the world record holder. It's a real head-to-head -head battle. It looks like Dadon might just take this one. He comes into the closing stages and it is goal for Israel. The world record has gone again. 36.25 to Ami Omar Dadon. He's the world champion. Cameron Leslie hits silver for the New Zealander. Faster again for the New Zealander. But he was beaten by the Israeli. That bronze medal will go to Taka Suzuki for Japan. But what a swim. Well, this morning it was Leslie that asked the question. And this evening it was Dadon that answered them. All smiles there from both athletes because Cameron Leslie, he swam quicker. He broke the world record again, but someone else broke it by more. And there's nothing you can do about that. But Amiyama Dadon, 
back in that, dealing with the pressure. What a swim, what a race. It was absolutely superb. Leslie went from the blocks. We thought that Owen might be behind in the early stages, but he wasn't. He was absolutely right there the whole way through. And Cameron Leslie, well, he tried to up the stroke rate in the closing stages, but Dadon was just too fast. A world record swim to take gold at the World Championships. And it had to be because Leslie was a world record breaker as well in that final. Ami Omer Dadon takes the world title in the men's 50 freestyle S4, 36.25. Another improvement on the time for the former world record holder, Cameron Leslie of New Zealand. And Taka Suzuki taking the bronze for Japan. Well, these races just keep on coming, don't they? The entertainment is there for us all to see tonight. Tight battles, world records. Almost every single race we have seen some really close contests, records being broken. Let me move on now to the next race, which is the women's 50 meters freestyle S8 classification. Jean-Marc from Germany in lane number eight, bronze medalist in the backstroke earlier this week. The Mexican Paulo Rubacaba Nunes in lane number one, the 18 year old from Croatia is Paula Novina, who's in lane number seven, the 15 year old from Poland, great support from the Polish fans in the stands here. She goes in lane number two, silver medalist in the backstroke earlier this week, Katarina Denisenko from Ukraine in six. Commonwealth Games silver medalist in 2018, in Abby Tripp from Canada. And in the middle lane, Cecilia Geronimo de Arujo from Brazil, the Paralympic Games silver medalist. And the Italian, who has been having a great week here in Madeira. Two gold medals to her name so far in the individual events including one in the 100 freestyle yesterday. Zina Francesca Palazzo in lane number four. Well, big two Liz in the middle lane. Palazzo has been really good this week. Yeah, Palazzo's just managed to get on a, the right end of a couple of those tight finishes that we've talked about. She was looking strong this morning. But, the, but the, it could go anywhere, couldn't it? Yeah. Cecilia Geronimo Arusho, really better known as a sprinter. Palazzo, better known over the longer freestyle distances, but she did head the Brazilian in qualification just by five one hundredths of a second. Look up of Italy, yellow cap of Brazil in those middle lanes. And as they pop up, it is the yellow cap of Brazil for Geronimo de Arujo that got the better start and she'll know that she needs to because Palazzo is chasing, as is Abby Tripp of Canada. And Denisenko going well too. Yeah, Denisenko had a good start, but it looks like the Brazilian now, Geronimo de Arujo. Has Palazzo got any answer in this closing stages here? It's going to go to Brazil. It's Geronimo de Arujo, 30.97, the fastest time in the world this year to take gold. It's silver this time for Palazzo. And it was Denisenko from Ukraine who takes a bronze just ahead of Canada's Abby Tripp. But the sprinter, well, she has done it. It's Cecilia Geronimo Arusho, the Paralympic Games silver medalist, is now the world champion. Well, as they celebrate, you saw there Denisenko trying to focus on the board at the other end to see if there was confirmation of a medal for her. There's Abby Tripp just missing out on the medals. The Canadian this time in fourth position. And there is the champion, the Brazilians continuing this great run. 
Yeah, again, when we say, don't we, success breeds success. And when, when there's momentum within your squad, you don't want to be someone who misses out on all of that joy. But it was close and it lived up to the hype. And Geronimo had to be quick off that start because Palazzo was closing in those final stages. Geronimo still had a significant lead, about 15 meters to go, but by the end, there was not a lot in it at all. Absolutely. The yellow cap on Brazil just getting it. Denisenko had a good start, start with that white cap, and that held her through to the final th that bronze medal position. And there is the Brazilian celebrating. Cecilia Geronimo de Arugio takes the world title in the women's 50 freestyle S8, ahead of Xenia Francesca Palazzo and ahead of Katarina Denisenko. Another really close contest there, Liz. We move on to the men's race as well. Brazil with a good chance in this one. So the fastest qualifier. Shimmers are led out by the Seminoles. Latvia, the Latvian representative here at these World Championships. Alberto Amadeo, the winner of the 400 freestyle on day one of these World Championships. Yes. Andrade Guilén, World Championship bronze medalist back in 2017, goes in lane seven. Sergio Mardos Miguel from Spain, European medalist goes in. Goes in lane number three. World champion from 2019 was Dimosinis. Miklintakis from Greece, but the favourite, the fastest qualifier from the heats, Gabriel Silva de Souza. Well, he will need to attack this 50 free star just as his compatriot did in the first heat because Miklintakis will finish very, very strongly. Yeah, Silva de Souza, you know, a number of the major championships picked up his first two major championships medals just two days ago. wonder if he can pick up another one here. wonder if it can be a gold medal this time for the Brazilian. Kalinzakis might have something to say about that. The world champion from 2019, the champion here in the 100 freestyle, the Greek. Golas with that red cap of Poland, hoping to get on the medal podium as well. As they emerge, it is Silva de Souza of Brazil in that gold cap that leads the way with that windmill stroke. But you can see Mikel Nzakis trying to get back on level terms. Well, again, it's going to be a very tight contest. It might just be Silva de Souza with the edge. Mikel Nzakis coming back. Gollas right there in the mix as well. Oh, can he time the finish? It is Silva de Souza who takes it. Mikel Nzakis into silver medal position. And Gullis with the bronze medal for Poland. Well, Silva de Souza, it all came up to the final few strokes. It was all about who could time that finish correctly. The first three swimmers all swimming with one arm. And I think it was just Silva de Souza who timed it perfectly, just ahead of Miklin Zakis. And Gullis taking a medal for Poland. He'll be delighted with that one. Well, again, <laughs> these races have had it all. And Silva de Souza, um, he doesn't look like he quite believes that he actually got his hand to that wall first. He's very calm. He, oh, here it comes. <laughs> There's the celebration. I think these 50 meters freestyle, the speed so much, there's so much tension in them sometimes. And at one point, it looked like Mikkels and Zakis had actually gone ahead. But then in that final stroke, as we've said so many times tonight, it was D'Souza that took the victory. Well, hopefully we'll see the, the finish, just the timing of that last stroke. And it was absolutely perfect for Silva D'Souza. Gollas was right there in the mix as well, the pole, wasn't he? Yeah, he had a brilliant swim there to get on that podium. 
But Silva de Souza re finally realizing, I think, his potential. Gabriel Silva de Souza is the world champion in 27.19. Demosenas, Mikulin Zakis, a silver medal for the Greek this time. And Mikhail Golas, the bronze for Poland, just ahead of Canada's Felix Cowan. Well, we can take a breath now, Les. What a first set of finals that has been tonight. And we move on now to the medal presentation. So a few victory ceremonies for you to enjoy now, starting with that women's 100 breaststroke in the SB5 classification. The medals will be presented by Vice President of the Madeira Social Security Institute. As medalhas serão entregues pelo seu vice-presidente do Instituto de Segurança Social da Madeira, André Rebelo. The winner of the bronze medal representing Egypt. A vencedora da medalha de bronze em representação do Egito, Ayala Tufek. Winner of the silver medal representing Iceland. Vencedora da medalha de prata em representação da Islândia, Thelma Björnsdottir. The winner of the gold medal and the world champion representing Great Britain. Vencedora da medalha de ouro e campeã do mundo em representação da Grã-Bretanha, Grace Harvey. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Great Britain. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o hino nacional da Grã-Bretanha. Madeira, your medal winner. Madeira, Aces Medalhada. The victory ceremony for the women's 400 meter freestyle S9. Cerimonia de vitória para os 400 metros livres femininos classe S9. Winner of the bronze medal representing United States of America. Vencedora da medalha de bronze em representação dos Estados Unidos da América. Summer Schmidt. Winner of the silver medal representing Hungary. Vencedora da medalha de prata em representação da Hungria, Sofia Konkoi. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Great Britain. Vencedora da medalha de ouro e campeã do mundo em representação da Grã-Bretanha, Tony Shaw.
Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Great Britain. Por favor, levantem-se se possível para o hino nacional da Grã-Bretanha. Madeira, your medal winners. Madeira, aces, medalhadas. The victory ceremony for the men's 400 meter freestyle S9. Cerimonia de vitória para os 400 metros livres masculinos classe S9. Winner of the bronze medal representing Australia. Vencedora da medalha de bronze em representação da Austrália. Brendan Hall. The winner of the silver medal representing France. Vencedor da medalha de prata em representação da França. Hugo Didier. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Italy. Vencedor da medalha de ouro e campeão do mundo em representação da Itália, Simone Pala. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Italy. Por favor, levantem-se se possível para o hino nacional da Itália. Madeira, your medal winner. Madeira, Aizos, Rossos, Medalhado. First set of medal presentations are over there is the scene outside the Pintara Olympic Swimming Pools Complex. Another beautiful day in Funchal. And what a night. What a night we've had in the pool so far, Liz. Incredible. Yep, there's been hardly any time to catch your breath. You can see 
<laughs> the Swedish supporters feeling the heat in here. <laughs> Not sure if it's the heat or your fan in fish from the recovery of the the crazy swimming that we've seen. It's been impressive. Look at this. Well, this is how we stand so far. Italy have had a good night. They've extended their lead at the top of the medal table. USA just uh, one ahead now of Brazil. Brazil, a couple of great swims in those S8s, haven't they? Great Britain had a good night. First two medals for them. First two goals of the night. Yeah, and Italy have hit the 40 total mark. Yeah, they had 50 at the, the last World Championship, so they're well on their way to being better than that one. Oh, I wonder what else we've got in store, Liz. Lots more action, lots more excitement, lots more breath holding as these finishes are close. But, uh, we wouldn't have it any other way. Absolutely, we've got more 50 meter action now, starting with the 50 meters butterfly S7. These sprints have been extremely close tonight. Nicholas and Claire Maitland leads them out. The Swedish swimmer going in lane number eight. First of the three Canadians, Miriam Solomon. In lane, seven, in lane number one, Elia Lettenberger, winner of the bronze medal in the 400 freestyle earlier this week. Naomi Somalia Maduano from Mexico, backstroke medalist this week. Very much the informed swimmer at these championships. Tess Rootliff, gold medalist in the breaststroke. There's Nikita Howard from New Zealand. Gold medalist at this event back in 2015. Julia Terzi, the Italian, the European champion, goes in lane number five. And the Paralympic champion really burst onto the scene last year. Daniel Dorris of Canada. Great chance for a Canadian gold medal here. Daniel Dorris holds the world record. Incredible, 32.99 to take gold in Tokyo last year. So three Canadians in this final. Solomon, Doris and Rootliff. Julia Tersi, European champion and Paralympic Games bronze medalist. Right next to the Canadian here is Daniel Doris. She will get away quickly. Solomon in the outside lane. Tess Rootliff, can she pick up another medal? Well, Tess Rootliff is having the comeback of her life here. She's swimming quicker than ever before. And it's very close in the world rankings. Four, second, third and fourth. But Danielle Doris there in that black cap of Canada, the red suit of Canada, going very well. She is the favorite and she's got a body length lead. But behind her, there's a battle unfolding. Well, Daniel Doris now coming in, holding off the challenge of Julia Tersi with that blue cap of Italy. It looks like it is going to be gold for Canada. Daniel Doris into the wall now. She takes the gold. It's Tersi in the silver medal position. Another medal for Tess Rootcliffe, and she gets the bronze for Canada. Two Canadian swimmers will be on the podium. And look at that, what a reaction from Daniel Doris. She can't believe her teammate has gone on the podium with her. A championship record for Danielle Doris. She's the world champion to add to that Paralympic title that she won last year. Yeah, all stars there for the Canadians. We said Rutliff was in impressive form and she's taken a second off her time there to, to jump on fourth, third and get on that podium. Well, Daniel Doris really led from the start there. And Julia Terzi just couldn't get back on terms with the Canadian. But Tess really, she, she's having, really, she is having the meat of her life, isn't she? She can do nothing wrong. Absolutely, she's she's bringing in the best time. She's got herself a full set of World Championship medals at this meet. And sometimes they say a rest is, as, is, is what you need. And if, though it was enforced, and no, no one would wish a broken back on anyone. She's really refocused and she's come back stronger than <laughs> ever. Look at Doris's reaction to Tess's swim. Yeah, Tess Rootliff, just over a year after that broken back, she comes 
back into the water to claim a bronze medal here in the 50 butterfly. It's gold to Canada. Danielle Doris dominating that one. A championship record for the Canadian in 34-01. Julia Tersi from Italy claims the silver and Tess Root lifts the bronze. The men's 50 now Daniel Doris living up to the favourites tag there in the that women's 50 metres India, butterfly. In the men's 50 metres butterfly in the S7, two Indian swimmers in, in the outside lane. Um, Suash Narayav Jadav in lane number one. Coming out now, we did see his in teammate Nirajan Mukandan going out Tosa. in lane number eight. Rudy Garcia Tolson in lane number seven, a member of that successful US relay team a couple of nights ago. Christian Sari trying to claim another medal for the South African team to add to the silver he won earlier in the week. Inaki Basilov, the champion in the 400 freestyle, the Argentinian goes in lane number six. Evgeny Bodaiko, world multi moral champion medalist for Evgeny Bodaiko from Ukraine. Carlos Serrano Zarati, two gold medals to his name this week already. But the favourite will be the Paralympic Games silver medalist Andrei Trusov from Ukraine. A tall figure of Andrei Trusov. This is the head of Serrano Zarati in the Paralympic Games. Two Ukrainians side by side. Evgeny Bodaiko, world champion in this event back in 2013. Trusov goes in lane number four. Serrano Zarati expect him to get off fast in lane number five. Hustle between these two in the centre lanes in prospect. Yeah, and you can see that white cap there of Andre Trusov going very well for the Ukraine. But the best start coming from Christian Sadi of South Africa. He's going very well at the top of the screen. But expect the athletes in the centre to come through strongly. Yeah, Christian Sadi right there in the mix now. But it could be Trusov and Serrano Zarati into the wall. Very close indeed. It's Trusov who takes it. 29.28 for Andre Trusov. Trusov, a championship record for him. Serrano Zarati closed all the time. A tenth of a second was the difference between the Colombian and the Ukrainian. And the bronze medal goes to Inaki Basilov from Argentina, coming through really strongly in the end to claim the bronze ahead of Christian Sari, who swims an African record in fourth position. But Serrano Zarati just coming back on Trusov all the time there. Trusov just had enough at the end. Yeah, Trusov's such a tall figure and he uses that height to his advantage. And we saw that he needed at the end just 0.1 of a second. There's really nothing in these races that we are seeing tonight. They're so close. And mentioned a Basilov who doesn't get away as well as the other athletes. He builds through the 50, but when it fills to 100, builds to 400. And he, ca he came through very strongly to finish there just to get the touch for that bronze medal. But look at this finish. Trusov just getting the better of Serrano oh, Zarate on that final stroke. There was absolutely nothing in uh, a tenth of a second separating Trusov and Serrano Zarate. They have a great rivalry in this event. This time it was Trusov who finished out on top. Inaki Baslov, another medal for the Argentinian and Christian Sari from South Africa. An African record in fourth position. We shouldn't really be surprised about Inaki Baslov, should we, Liz? As you said, we've seen him few, uh, swim a few races this week, and every time he has been really strong at the finish, hasn't he? He's having a great meet here for Argentina. The next event sees the women's 100 freestyle in the S12 classification. French swimmer. Goes in lane number eight, Leanne Morceau, 18 year old. In lane number one, 
Marina Petrakova Chova from Slovakia. Sixth World Championship appearance for her. Lucien da Silva Souza. 50 meters freestyle silver medalist goes in lane number seven. Maria Delgado Nadal, a medalist on day one of this World Championship. Lina Gomez Santiago, top of the world rankings this year. Four goals already to her name. Anna Stetsenko, the Paralympic champion from Tokyo, in 400 freestyle. And Hannah Russell, already a gold medalist at these championships in the backstroke event. She will renew her rivalry with Gomez Santiago in the freestyle event. They were gold and silver in the 50 freestyle with the silver Souza in the bronze medal position. Anna Russell holds the championship record, which she set back in 2015. In the middle, Russell in four, Stetsenko in five. Watch out for lane three though, Carolina Gomez Santiago. Well, Great Britain's Anna Russell won her fastest time or in, of the year to qualify for this final in that center lane. But already you can see the strength of Gomez Santiago of Brazil in lane three. She's just leading the way there at the moment. She's just pulling away now from Anna Russell in the closing stage. It's going to be a very fast time for Gomez Santiago. And it is 28.44 for her at the turn. Hannah Russell just half a second behind and Silva Souza it very close there. 0.75 behind Hannah Russell. It is a great swim from the Brazilian as she's coming down now, stretching away from the rest of the field. Fantastic race here from the Brazilian at the front. Hannah Russell in second position, holding on to that. Stetsenko coming through the 400 champion. And here we are. Brazil will take the gold ahead of Russell. Stetsenko just behind here in point one of us, not one one hundredth of a second. Well, Gomez Santiago though, getting Ooh, under that one minute mark. She's had a busy week. You can tell she worked hard for that one. Hannah Russell will be delighted with her silver medal. She's, she's trying to find out what's going on. These athletes don't see the scoreboard. They, and when it's that close, they don't always see where they finished in what position. But Gomez Santiago really is the in-form swimmer in this S12 category. Another excellent swim from her. Just outside the championship record set by Hannah Russell, but she went off really blistering pace, didn't she? In 28.44. She meant business on that first 50, that's for sure. And Hannah Russell just playing catch up all the way through just had enough to hold off Stetsenko in the closing stages, one one hundredth of a second oh that was close for the finish well we talked about Stetsenko's strong finishes there and it so nearly got her into that silver medal position, she turned fifth and then came through for that bronze but all smiles once again for Brazil another gold medal going their way yeah, Brazil having a good night Great Britain also picking up a few medals and another medal for Ukraine. That was a close contest for silver and bronze. Please welcome Santiago the for our next event, the men's Gomez taking their fifth gold medal of the week. And on to the men. Another great final in prospect. In lane two, representing Spain, Borja Sanz Tomeo. Borja Sanz Tomeo picked up. A medal in the backstroke at these championships earlier in the week. There's Ilya Yaromenko. He's very strong. In the 50 freestyle to take a silver medal. Stephen Clegg, two gold medals for the Great Britain swimmer. In the backstroke and the butterfly. There is the man who holds the world record in the 50 freestyle for this classification and in this 100 freestyle as well. Maxim Varak. From 
Tokyo last year. Maxim Varaksa, the world record set back in the Iceland European Championships in 2009. This is the men's 100 freestyle S12. Very fast, 50.91 for Maxim Varaksa. Raman Salai, Paralympic champion, headed Varaksa in Tokyo, headed Stephen Clegg. There's the three Paralympic medalists in the middle lanes. Clegg has turned the tables on Salai couple of times this week, Salai taking the title earlier this week in the 50 freestyle. What can he do in this 100 freestyle? It promises to be a really close contest between those three in the middle. Very good start there for lane number four, Raman Salai with uh, early lead. And Stephen Clegg going well in second. Also going well is Yaromenko and down here in lane number six. Yeah, Salai has gone out like a bullet there. 24.90 for him at the turn with Yaromenko in second and Stephen Clegg just behind in the third place. But now also going very well is Yaromenko. He's trying to pull away, but it is all about Raman Salai in this one. Well, it looks like Raman Salai not going to be beaten here. It's a real tussle for the silver medal position, but Raman Salai is coming home and he's going to take it. It's going to be silver to Clegg and bronze to Varaksa. At Raman Salai made absolutely no mistake there. He dominated that one from the front. 53.07 for him with Stephen Clegg in second and Maxim Varaksa in third position. Well, Raman Salai made sure of that one from the start. Stephen Clegg will be pleased with his silver medal there and Maxim Varaska finished very well typically we see him go out really quickly and then hold on for a position but tonight he went out and he turned fourth and then he progressed to finish third his compatriot Yaromenko fading in the final stages these S12 men's events they've had smaller field but the quality is there all three Paralympic medalists were contesting that one Raman Salai really took that one out very strongly. Yaromenko featured well in the early stages, but just faded in that second 50. But as they hit the halfway point, Raman Salai had a big lead over the rest of the field. It all kind of closed up. Varaksa coming back into contention. And it was very close between Varaksa and Clegg for the silver medal position. Just three one hundredths of a second in it. But no doubt about who took the title. Raman Salai taking it in 53.07. Clegg in second position. And Baraksa in third place. Three Paralympic medals. Medalists on the podium again. Raman Salai taking the gold. Stephen Clegg in the silver medal position. And Maxim Baraksa with the bronze. Well, good win there for the Azerbaijani swimmer. Move back to the some medal presentations. First of those being the Sui women's Sui Sui butterfly S. The medals will be presented by technical coordinator of Paris swimming of the Portuguese Swimming Federation. As medalhas serão entregues pela coordenadora técnica para a natação adaptada da Federação Portuguesa de Natação, Mariette Matias. Winner of the bronze medal, representing United States of America. Vencedora da medalha de bronze em representação dos Estados Unidos da América. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing the Netherlands. Vencedora da medalha de ouro e campeã do mundo em representação dos Países Baixos, Lisa Kruger. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of the Netherlands. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o hino nacional dos Países Baixos.
Matera, your medal winners. Elena, no rosters for the medal. The victory ceremony for the men's 100 meters butterfly S10. Cerimonia de vitória para os 100 metros mariposa masculinos classe S10. The winner of the bronze medal representing Australia. Vencedor da medalha de bronze em representação da Austrália, Alex Safi. The winner of the silver medal representing Australia. Vencedor da medalha de prata em representação da Austrália, Cole Pierce. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Italy. Vencedor da medalha de ouro e campeão do mundo em representação da Itália, Stefano Raimondi. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Italy. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o hino nacional de Itália. Madeira, your medal winner. Madeira, os vossos medalhados. The victory ceremony for the women's 50 meters freestyle S4. Cerimonia de vitória para os 50 metros livres femininos classe S4. The winner of the bronze medal representing Brazil. Vencedora da medalha de bronze em representação do Brasil, Lídia Vieira da Cruz. The winner of the silver medal representing Australia. Vencedora da medalha de prata em representação da Austrália. Rachel Watson.
the winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Germany. Vencedora da medalha de ouro e campeã do mundo em representação da Alemanha, Tanya Schultz. Please rise if you're able for the national anthem of Germany. Por favor, levantem-se se possível para o hino nacional da Alemanha. The victory ceremony for the men's 50 meters freestyle S4. Cerimonia de vitória para os 50 metros livres masculinos classe S4. Winner of the bronze medal representing Japan. Vencedora da medalha de bronze em representação do Japão. Takayuki Suzuki. The winner of the silver medal representing New Zealand. The vencedor of the medal of bronze in representation of New Zealand, Cameron Leslie. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Israel. Vencedor da medalha de ouro e campeão do mundo em representação de Israel, Amil Medadion. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Israel. Por favor, levantem-se se possível para o hino nacional de Israel.
back to the uh, swimming action now. And we move on to the 200 metres Don't forget, we need individual you medley events. For the SM14 classification. Similar to the, an intellectual impairment, there is the, the mascot Poncha on the board. Did you get his autograph? Yeah. Well, you have I to tried to. We've got a picture with him. Oh, and he's on the board. Like He's got to have a rest, yeah. right? It's quite intense yeah. being a mascot. Big responsibility. But there he is on the board. He'll make an appearance. On the board. He'll make an appearance soon. They use him to send out all the important messages like wearing a mask and uh, cheering loudly. No one's going to argue with a cute dolphin. <laughs> That's it. With 200 metres individual medley, SM14. Canada represented in this one by Angela Marina, who's in lane number eight. Japanese swimmer, Nami Inui, out there in lane number one. Thai swimmer. Kajomata goes in lane number seven, the first of the three swimmers from Great Britain, Louis Finnis. Medalist at Paralympic Games last year, Louis Finnis in lane number two. Pernilla Lindbergh, world champion back in 2017 from Sweden, goes in six. Paige Leon Hart from well in the heats. World Games swimmer for Australia last time out in 2018. Jessica Jane Applegate, the second of the two Great Britain swimmers. Silver medalist in the 200 freestyle. Two goals already this week to Bethany Firth of Great Britain. Who goes in that middle lane in lane number four. This is the women's now Bethany Firth and Jessica Jane Applegate. And they'll be two of the favourites for this one. They both medalled in. World Championships before Bethany Fur taking the silver in 2019. Jessica Jane Applegate taking the, the silver in 2015 and 2013. The only world champion in this particular eight is Pernilla Lindbergh, who won the title in 2017. She goes in that yellow cap of Sweden in lane number six. Yeah, and it was Lindbergh that had a very good breaststroke leg in the heat this morning. But that red hat of Jessica Jane Applegate will look to work the first 100 metres. There's where her strength lies. And you can see she's attacking this first 50 metres. She'll go into the turn at the end of the butterfly with a slender lead. And Paige Leonhardt going well. They are just heading Bethany Firth. But Bethany Firth, very strong backstroker. Triple Paralympic champion in the 100 back. Last three Paralympic Games in this classification have belonged to Bethany Firth in the backstroke, and she is stretching ahead, just ahead of Jessica Jane Applegate. The two Great Britain swimmers are forging ahead of the rest of the field. It's well, all to play for for third place, but it's Jessica Jane Applegate and Bethany Firth well ahead of the rest at the halfway point. Yeah, they turn there almost together. Applegate just edging it by three one hundredths of a second, but expect Bethany Firth to try and use the breaststroke to put some space between her and her compatriot. Applegate having a great swim here, but watch out for the breaststrokers behind. Lindbergh, Paige Leonhardt had a good butterfly, and Louise Fittis, the Paralympic Games bronze medalist, will try to get back on level terms, but right now we see Bethany Firth start to stretch the field. Yeah, Bethany Firth is looking good here. She is going ahead of Jessica Jane Applegate with that red cap. Bethany Firth now coming up to this final turn. The spearhead is almost perfect as Bethany Firth touches there. And she goes round ahead of Applegate and Paige Leonard closed up on Jessica Jane Applegate for third position. Yeah, but Jessica Jane Applegate is a very strong freestyler. She won the 200 metres freestyle at the Paralympic Games in London in 2012. So we expect her to kick hard for home. But there's no doubt where this world title is going to go. Bethany Firth is powering into the wall. 
and here comes Bethany Fur. She is going to take her first world title in this event. She claims it in 2.26.69. It is going to be gold and silver to Great Britain. Jessica Jane Applegate. And it's a 1-2-3 for Great Britain as Louise Fittis finishes really strongly in lane number two. Just getting in ahead of Paige Leonhardt there by seven one hundredths of a second. Great finish from Luis Fittis there. And a great swim at the front of the field for Bethany Firth and for Jessica Jane Applegate. Yeah, Fittis worked hard for that one. She turned eighth at the halfway point after the backstroke. Fourth after the breaststroke. Her and Paige Leonhardt had both had brilliant breaststroke legs at the top of the pool and then finishing strongly for another clean sweep of the medals for the Great Britain females. Mommy Inui there right at the top in lane number one. She finished in sixth position. Bethany Firth out ahead of the field there as they came into the second half of that one. She was pressed by Jessica Jane Applegate up to halfway point, wasn't she, Liz? Yeah, very much so. That would have been in both of the swimmers' race plans. Bethany Firth uses that breaststroke to put a bit of space between her, and it really did stretch the field out. But Applegate gave herself a great opportunity there, and she swam very well to get that silver medal. Here comes Bethany Firth. No one else in sight as she takes it. Applegate takes a silver. Look at the contest for bronze. Louise Fittis, very strong at the end there, getting in ahead of Paige Leonhardt. And for the third time this week, it's a clean sweep of the medals in this classification for Great Britain. Great Britain take all three medals in the 200 meters individual medley SM14. Bethany Firth with the gold, Jessica Jane Applegate with the silver, and Louise Fittis with the bronze. Please welcome the athletes for our next event. This is the men's 200 meters individual medley. The men's 200 meters individual medley for the SM14 classification. Yeah, it promises to be an interesting tussle here. Two Brazilians in this final. Winner of the breaststroke bronze medal was Brutus de Oliveira. He goes in lane number eight. Medalist in the backstroke for Denmark. Alexander Hillhouse goes in lane number seven. His major championship debut for Cameron Bernkamp in a major final for Great Britain. He goes in seven. Dimitro Vanzenko, experienced Ukrainian. First of the two Ukrainians goes in lane number two. Gabriel Bandera, the winner of the 200 freestyle. What can he do from lane six? Second Ukrainian. Is Vassel Krajanich, European champion in 2018 and 2021. Robert Isaac Jonsson was the world champion back in 2017. He was second in qualification for this man, Nicholas Bennett from Canada. Bennett, silver medal behind Bandera in the 200 freestyle. Swam an excellent qualification heat to qualify in first position. Robert Isaac Johnson in second, Bandera. Fourth place behind Krajanich from those qualification heats, but Bennett Liz looked really, really good at the closing stages of this individual medley. Yeah, he's been strong all week in the, in the final stages of all of his events, and expect that to be the case again here in this final. World record held by Reston of Great Britain, set to win the Paralympic title in Tokyo last year. Reston not taking part in this final. Well, expect a quick first 50 from Gabriel Bandera of Brazil. He's the 100 meter butterfly world record holder. That yellow hat that you can see close to us going very well down the first 50 meters. But Nicholas Bennett does finish very strongly, and Robert Isaac Johnson will be trying to make sure that he doesn't get caught in anyone's waves. Bandera does lead them out half a second, almost the advantage ahead of Johnson with Bennett just behind in third position. 
And it was the second half of the race that we really saw Nicholas Bennett pull through. Bandera, though, has taken this out to the rest of the field. It's very, very close for second. But Bandera will lead them through at the halfway point. Nothing to choose between five swimmers or so for that second position. But Bandera will lead them as they go into the breaststroke. Could this be where the others catch up on the Brazilian? Yeah, Bandera's worked very hard there down that first 100 metres, turning in under a minute. The only athlete to do that as he comes up and into the breaststroke. But now watch there as Nicholas Bennett starts to try and make his move for Canada. They are the fastest two athletes in the world this year, only separated by a tenth of a second. Bandera will work this one really, really hard to try and keep that advantage onto the final leg. Well, Bandera going away from the others with the exception of Nicholas Bennett, who's come through in a second position now. Bandera going over on that final turn, 137.44. He's inside world record pace, Liz. Well, these were the two gold and silver medalists in the 200 freestyles. We know that they've both got strong finishes, but Bandera is going for this one, and he's looking very, very strong. Here comes Bennett, but he might have left too much to do. I think he might have. Bandera is going to stretch away now. It is Gabriel Bandera against the clock. Can he dip under that world record mark? I think he might. He does. 207.50. The world record has gone to Gabriel Bandera of Brazil. It's silver to Nicholas Bennett in 223. And a bronze to Dimitri Wanzenko from Ukraine in 212.78. But the Brazilians celebrate. There is the champion, the new world record holder, Gabriel Bandera. Well, you can see what it means to him. You can see there Nicholas Bennett just processing the time that he can see on the result. He went 100 slower than he's been this year, so bang on his best time as well. But Bandera, he went for that one from the front. At the Paralympic Games in Tokyo, he was surprised by the pace of Great Britain's race done. He didn't go out as quickly as we knew he could. He, he, he went in with race plans to finish strongly, and that caught him out in some of the battles, but not here, not at these World Championships. He's completely changed his approach to racing, and it's paying off. Yeah, straight up and into stroke. Gabriel Bandera on that butterfly did have a lead over Robert Isaac Johnson by about half a second in the early stages. He got on to the backstroke. He pulled away and on the freestyle, it was only him and Bennett in the shot as they came into the final stages. He was inside world record pace all the way through Gabriel Bandera, and there he is. He's the world champion in a new world record time. Jonsson, the Icelander, finishing in fifth position at the end, but bring it on, Bandera. What a swim from the Brazilian. Gabriel Bandera takes the title in the men's 200 metres individual medley in a world record time. Nicholas Bennett from Canada in the silver medal position. And Dmitry Vanzenko gets a medal for Ukraine, the bronze. Well, the women's S11 100 freestyle. We like the, the uh, S11 races, don't we, Liz? Uh, racing for swimmers with no vision at all who wear back blacked out goggles laid out by the 17 year old Scarlett Humphrey just getting in the final ahead of her twin sister who finished in ninth position Chicago Ono a relay medalist in the 49 point relay yesterday she goes in lane number one McLean Hermes finalist in the Paralympic Games last year Goes over it to lane number seven. Tatiana Blatnerova, the 50 meter freestyle bronze medalist from Slovakia at these championships in lane number two. A Colombian, Charlotte Vanessa Yukwe Fernandez. She might have a chance to squeeze herself onto the medal podium. Qualified in fourth position. 
third fastest qualifier was the world champion from back in 2017, Matilda Alcazar Figueroa. The two favourites will take their place in the centre lanes. We saw Anastasia Pagones, Paralympic champion in 400 freestyle. And the world champion in this event, the 100 freestyle, is Lisette Bronsma from the Netherlands. She is the world record holder and championship record holder. Set that world record at the European Championships back in 2018. This is the women's one final freestyle Oscar Levin 5. Set bronze map in lane four for the Netherlands. Anastasia Pagonis in lane five for USA. Big support in the crowd for the Dutch team tonight. The USA well supported as well. S11 class. Swimmers wearing black tote goggles. They have no vision at all. This promises to be a great battle between the two in the center. Yeah, the heat set up two very intense battles here. Gold and silver between Brunsma and Pagonis, and then a fight for the bronze behind them. And it was Brunsma that got away best off the block, but you can see that high elbow stroke of Pagonis leading at the moment ever so slightly. The American in lane five will come into the wall first, but the tap and the turn so important in this classification group. Only 0.16 of a second separating them as Pagonis turns first in 32.43. Well, Pagonis very, very strong. She's the 400 meters Paralympic champion and she's looking good here. Lizette Brownsma now struggling to keep pace with the American. It's not all over yet, but Bacones is looking really good. Just skirting those lane ropes. Brosma struggling to stay off the lane ropes here. She is closing slightly, but I think it is going to be Pagones will take this one. It is Pagones for the USA. Will take the world title at 1.03 seconds ahead of Brunsma. And the bronze will go to Slovakia. Another medal for Tatiana Blatnerova right up there in lane number two their second medal of the championships but a very good swim from Pagones it was a head-to-head -head battle between the two as we thought it was going to be but the winner Anastasia Pagones of the USA well it was very little in it at the turn but it was Pagones there all smiles for the United States of America as she sort of moved away strongly in the third quarter of the race and Brunsma just couldn't stick with the pace that Pagonis was producing to come away and take that world title. A smile on the face of Tatiana Blatnerova as well as she exits the pool. And Pagonis and Brunsma. It was Brunsma got away off the dive a little bit better, wasn't it? Yeah, Brunsma definitely started more quickly and you can see here that both of the athletes the turns were perfect the taps were timed to perfection but just Brunswick got stuck on the wall a little bit and then that was where the difference came that's where then Pagonis made her move took that advantage and she had a slightly higher stroke rate as well as they came into the finish well that bodes well for the 400 freestyle for Anastasia Pagonis arguably her number one event there's Blattner over right at the top to take that bronze medal. Pagonis has done it. The result is official. Anastasia Pagonis takes the world title in the women's 100 freestyle S11 ahead of the Netherlands. Lisette Brownsma with another medal for Slovakia at these championships to Tatiana Blatnerova. these uh, arty shots we've been given there through the palm trees here in the in the venue here in the pool well, if you, it's hot enough if you close your eyes or <laughs> focus on the palm tree then you might think you're at the beach <laughs> well here these swimmers coming out into the heat of the arena led by 14 year old swimmer from the Czech Republic David Kratokvil 
World Championship bronze medalist out there in lane number one. It's Wendell Belmarino Perez. His Brazilian teammate goes in lane number seven. Ryan de Souza, Matias de Souza. There's the home favourite, Marco Meneses. Be great to see the host nation get a medal. Relay swimmer for the Spanish team. They took silver in the relay yesterday. It's Jose Ramon Cantero Aviera. Michaelo Serban, silver medalist in the individual medley. He goes in lane number three. And another two very successful swimmers at these championships so far. Ucho Tomita, two bronze medals to his name here in Punchal. And right in the middle, the orange colours of the Netherlands, Roger Dorsman. Three gold medals and a silver so far to his name. Dorsman goes in lane number four. Tomita next to him in lane number five. Dorsman fastest in the world this year. 57.68 for the Dutchman. World record held by USA's Bradley Snyder. 56.15. It's the blacked out goggles of Roger Dorsman. Just with that evening sun coming through the skylights here in the Olympic Swimming Pools Complex. Yeah, and that powerful reaction off the block there from Roger Dorsman is what we've seen setting up for success so many times this week already. And he's having a great first 25 meters there as he moves away from the field going well at the bottom of the screen is Matias Ryan Correa de Souza of Brazil in that bright hat and he's keeping company with Uchitomita of Japan at the turn but it will be Dorsman that leads the way 27.07 for him he had a great turn and he's extended that lead as we come into the final 25 meters he's so powerful Roger Dorsman and he was inside world record pace at the halfway point only by four one hundredths of a second here comes the Dutchman can he stay off the lane ropes can he stay ahead of Uchitomita next to him coming in to the finish now it's a great time it's a championship record 56.65 for Roger Dorsman it is Uchu Tamita with a great finish there for silver and the bronze goes to the Ukrainian it goes to Mikhail Serbin 59.31 just ahead of Carrera de Souza of Brazil but another excellent swim from Roger Dorsman a fourth gold medal for Roger he was inside world record pace there, Liz. I did think that record of Bradley Snyder's was under threat. Well, he has uh, in signaled his intent. He stated his intent that his mission is to take as many of these records down as possible in this S11 classification. And he's moving closer and closer to that every single time that he gets in the water. That was a really, really strong swim. Today, you'll have to settle for a championship record, but Hopefully his high standards won't take anything off of that because it was phenomenal and uh, he had a very, very convincing victory there. Yeah, just a, a battle for the minor medals there as Dorsman stretched away from the field. Tomita had a very good second 50, just holding up the challenge of Serbin, a couple of lanes up and the Souza a few lanes down, but there we are. Punching the air there, the champion, Roger Dorsman from the Netherlands. They will go out, get the goggles checked before this result can be made official, before we can state that we have a championship record. And there we are. The result is official. Roger Dorsman from the Netherlands claims the gold. Another gold here in Madeira in a championship record ahead of Tomita and ahead of Serbin. Well, another great set of races there, Liz. We've been just blessed with some great action tonight, haven't we? Yeah, and there's been a lot of freestyle and a lot of sprint freestyle, so it all feels like it's happening very, very quickly. 
Yeah, more freestyle to come after the next set of medal presentations. Here's a view, the, the picture of the uh, Madeira of Funchal on the wall of the swimming pool. The medalists, the winners are coming out. 50 minutes of freestyle, S8 medal presentation on its way. The medals will be presented by Executive Director of the Sport Portuguese Sports Foundation. As medalhas serão entregues pelo Diretor Executivo da Fundação Portuguesa do Esporte, Paulo Marcolino. The winner of the bronze medal representing Ukraine. O vencedor da medalha de bronze em representação da Ucrânia, Katarina Denisenko. Winner of the silver medal representing Italy. Vencedor da medalha de prata em representação da Itália, Zenia Palazzo. Winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Brazil. Vencedor da medalha de ouro e campeão do mundo em representação do Brasil, Cecilia Heronimo de Araújo. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Brazil. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o hino nacional do Brasil. Madeira, your medal winner. The victory ceremony for the men, 50 meters freestyle S8. Cerimonia de vitória para os 50 metros livres masculinos, classe S8. The winner of the bronze medal representing Poland. Vencedor da medalha de bronze em representação da Polónia, Michal Golos. The winner of the silver medal representing Greece. Vencedor da medalha de prata em representação da Grécia. Dimostenis Mitsumantzakis.
the winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Brazil. Vencedor da medalha de ouro e campeão do mundo em representação do Brasil, Gabriel Silva de Souza. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Brazil. Por favor, levantem-se se possível para o hino nacional do Brasil. Madeira, your medal winner. Madeira, The victory ceremony for the women is 50 meters butterfly S7. Cerimonia de vitória para os 50 metros mariposa femininos classe S7. Winner of the bronze medal representing Canada. Vencedora da medalha de bronze em representação do Canadá. Tess Rutledge. Winner of the silver medal representing Italy. Vencedora da medalha de prata em representação da Itália, Giulia Tetti. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Canada. Vencedora da medalha de ouro, campeã do mundo em representação do Canadá, Daniel Torres. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Canada. Por favor, levantem-se se possível para o hino nacional do Canadá. Madeira, your medal winner.
the victory ceremony for the men's 50 meters butterfly S7. Cerimonia de vitória para 50 metros mariposa masculinos classe S7. The winner of the bronze medal representing Argentina. O vencedor da medalha de bronze em representação da Argentina, Inaki Basilov. The winner of the silver medal representing Colombia. Vencedor da medalha de prata em representação da Colombia. Carlos Serrano Zerate. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Ukraine. Vencedor da medalha de ouro e campeão do mundo em representação da Ucrânia, Andrei Trussov. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Ukraine. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o hino nacional da Ucrânia. Presentations at an end. You keeping count, Liz? I am, I am. As if you would doubt me. There's the pool outside. It's, uh, it's been a, a great day, hasn't it? You've been outside most of the uh, most of the break between sessions, haven't you? Yeah, we were outside today doing a bit of work. It's pretty hot. There's some amazing rooftop terraces around. You can see down to the sea there a lot of the hotels along the front, and most of them have either a pool or a terrace to, 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 to absorb all that sunshine and uh, yeah it was it's hot though it's getting hotter isn't it this week i think well i think so yes yeah, so we're all right here in our little commentary position with <laughs> our huge fan with our fan the fan definitely helps because definitely. you can definitely feel you can tell the what the weather's doing outside by how hot it gets in here and you can and only so these little windows can you see these little windows yeah they're uh, sun streaming in as it's going down we saw last night the kind of shadows lengthening as the night went on they're looking us down to the ocean it's a really picturesque island here you tried to make me go for a swim. I can, I can do all this. <laughs> I can do. Well, you made me do aqua aerobics. I can't believe I, I'm saying this actually was... live, but <laughs> I've made it 36 years of my life with ever wow. doing aqua aerobics. You loved it, though, didn't you? <laughs> Is that going a bit too far? I didn't hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I almost went in the ocean today, but I, I thought I better not go in without Johnson. Oh, there you are. You, we, you could have gone in. You know? so you've always been such a role model for me. <laughs> So, uh, you know. so, uh, lit quite literally taste the water. 
Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Well, the swimming pool water was sea, sea water at the hotel. That surprised us. It was. It was salt anyway, wasn't it? Mm, that's what I meant. Salt water, not yeah. sea water. That well, would be impressive, might be wouldn't water, it? I suppose, but anyway. I hope not. It's a, lo- it's a great, ho- <laughs> a great hotel room. We're having a good time here. Anyway, uh, yeah. despite all our uh, what, set long it's sessions, awesome, isn't yeah. it? But really enjoyable. And you can see why so many people have come on holiday and why so many supporters have come from overseas. They're getting a holiday and a swimming competition. Are indeed, and they are enjoying the action as we are. We are going on to the next event. It is the women's 50 freestyle in the S3 classification. There is Fabiola Ramirez, the first of the three Mexicans in this final. Marissa Rodriguez was delighted to take a medal in the individual medley a few days ago. The Brazilian, there's the second of the Mexican swimmers there. Yip Pinju from Singapore, the winner of the gold medal in the 100 backstroke in the S2 class. She's swimming up against the S3 swimmers here. Second Brazilian bronze medalist in the backstroke earlier this week. It's Pereira Barreto. Most experienced of the three Mexicans. 33 World Championship medals to her name, Patricia Valley. Looking to add another one here. Coming in is Ellie Chalice. What form she is in this week? Already two medals to her name, the 18 year old. Gold in a 50 meters breaststroke, but she has come up against this lady in a number of events. And that's Leanne Smith of the USA. Three individual golds for Leanne Smith and also a gold as part of that US relay team. Sun bouncing off the water as these finalists are coming onto the blocks and into the water for this 50 meters freestyle S3. In the S3 class, Liz will see a a range of impairments. S1 to S10 for those with physical impairments, S1 being the most severe, and this is the S3 class, although we do have one S2 swimmer in it as well, swimming up. Yeah, you, you can, but you have the option to swim up into the next category if the event isn't offered for your classification group, and that is what Yip Ping Zhu of Singapore is doing for this one, but Lane Fours, um, USA, Leanne Smith is having an incredible world championships here, and she will be the favourite for this one. Qualification. It was Leanne Smith and Ellie Chalice who really stretched away from the rest of the field. Patricia Valley was the only other swimmer under the one minute mark. A range of starts, some swimmers going from the block, some in the water. Leanne Smith away well. Leanne Smith, she goes from that sit dive. Ellie Chalice always has a good reaction, and you can see the British swimmer there going very well with that high stroke rate. But it is that single arm stroke of Leanne Smith that's proving to be so powerful here this week as she powers down the track. Ellie Challenge will be looking to get another medal at these World Championships. All of the power really on top of the water coming from Leanne Smith's right arm. Very different strokes, but she's flying. And Leanne Smith into the finish. We'll keep an eye on this clock here. And it is a world record. It's an equal world record. You don't see that very often. 40.32, exactly the same time as the time set by Ariola Trimi of Italy in the Tokyo Paralympic Games last year. Leanne Smith takes that record time. It's a silver for Ellie Chalice again. The two great friends and rivals there in the center lane. And another medal for Patricia Valley of Mexico. 58.37 for the Mexican, an improvement from her heat time. And I make it a 34th World Championship medal for Patricia Valley. What a record she has. And what a record this week that Leanne Smith has. And a world record. Well, I thought she had it. I really thought when she went under those flags that she was going to dip under that world record. But when you equal the world record, you still get the recognition. You still get the certificate. And Ellie Chalice dipping under the 50-second mark as well. It's quite a significant barrier in this classification to get under that time. There, the, the start of Leanne Smith taking her away and clear in the very early stages. Very different impairment. 
Leanne Smith has to Ellie Chalice. A high turnover of Ellie Chalice. But Leanne Smith swimming away, increasing that lead all the time. And stretching for that wall at the end there with that left arm and equaling the time set by Ariola Trimmy. So that is the fastest that anyone has ever gone. And it's happened twice. Yeah, it was a phenomenal swim, and that strong arm that Leanne Smith uses, the other one drags across the top of the water, so she doesn't get any propulsion from that one. It actually probably but it does keep her balanced out, and there we see it's such an effective stroke. In the 50 metres freestyle for women S3, Leanne Smith equals the world record time. Ellie Chalice takes the silver for Great Britain, and Patricia Valley picks up another world championship medal for Mexico. Oh, we've had world records every day of this world championship, Liz, and we've had a, like one or two, well, like two tonight, one this morning. Yeah, that was our first day where we had one in the morning session, but Leanne Smith is so strong with that, that pull that she gets. She used it effectively, completely different stroke to Ariola Trimi of Italy, but exactly the same time. <laughs> Trimi not at these championships, the Italian. We will we'll see her at the future major events. You know, another one of the stars for the Italian team. They're doing pretty well without Ariola Trimi leading the medal table. Here comes Grant Patterson leading the men's 50 freestyle final for the S3 classifications. Two medals already for Patterson. Es Miguel Andel, Martinez Rojelo. Spanish swimmer going in the outside lane. Another three Mexicans in this final. There's the first of them. Marcus Rafael Zarati Rodriguez. Vincenzo Boni, European champion back in 2018 in this event. Denis Ostapchenko from Ukraine goes in lane number six. Paralympic Games bronze medalist. Josiah Top had a very good swim in the heat. Won a medal in the individual medley earlier this week. Can he challenge the two Mexicans in the centre lane? Is also Hernandez Hernandez, individual medley champion, going in lane number five. And a man with the best record in this event in recent years, Diego Lopez Diaz, world champion, Paralympic champion from last year. Two Mexicans will start as the favourites, but Josiah Top had a very good swim in the heats. Can he force his way into medal contention again? Denis Ostapchenko has medaled at the major championships. He may be a threat. The Ukrainian in lane number six. Lopez Diaz tops the world rankings this year. With the time that he did this morning, Lopez Diaz, Hernandez, Hernandez side by side. And over in lane number seven is Arati Rodriguez. Three Mexicans, they will be hoping to be on the medal podium. Will it be gold for Mexico in this? S353 style. Well, very different styles in this one, and you can see it is Josiah Top of Germany in lane three, getting off the block well and using that to go out into the lead. This is exactly what we saw this morning. The Mexican swimmers in the center lanes chasing down that early lead and the early advantage of Top. Yeah, Josiah Top just holding on there, but here comes Diego Lopez Diaz. Just next to him in lane number four, Hernandez Hernandez coming through as well. And Denis Ostapchenko, top is now being headed by Lopez Diaz in lane number four. It's going to be Mexico one and two, I think. It is Lopez Diaz into the finish. Hernandez Hernandez in second. And Ostapchenko in the bronze medal position. Josiah top just misses out in fourth position, the German. But Diego Lopez Diaz, 44.85, an improvement from his heat time, the fastest time of the year in this classification to take that gold medal.
Kicks that top, gave absolutely everything there. Yeah, and he swims the only way that he can. He leaves out and then he has to fight really hard and hope that the wall comes before the charge of the field behind him. And on this occasion, it was Lopez Diaz and Hernandez Hernandez who came through strongly and took Denis Ostapchenko with them. And it came down to another tight finish there to secure a place on the podium. Another medal for Mexico. There is the start. As they go, some swimmers using that start device, some getting held by their coaches and support staff. And there is where the lead change. Josiah Top just being eclipsed by Lopez Diaz. And just at the end, the other two coming back to get in ahead of the German. Lopez Diaz, though, well, he was the class act in this field over the last few years. He retains his world title in 44.85. Ahead of his teammate Hernandez Hernandez with Denis Ostapchenko taking the bronze medal for Ukraine. Well, these sprint events just keep bringing the excitement, don't they? And there is the victorious Diego Lopez Diaz. Enjoy the moment. We saw the Mexicans are very, very strong in the S3 category, both male and female, and enjoying some success there in those last two races. Yeah, the Mexicans. Again, we talked about a lot about role models and people seeing people with similar impairments. The Mexicans seem to almost have a a conveyor belt of these swimmers in the lower classifications, the S3s, the S4s, have been very, very strong over the years for Mexico. Yeah, they've developed their training techniques over the years, the assistance that they provide their swimmers, and also, yes, once you've got a bigger pool of people, excuse the pun, you're able to start talent spotting because you can spot the trends and you can start to put those parameters in place. Yeah, the Mexicans have certainly done that well. Over the years, they continue to grow their squad, actually. They've had a kind of a medium sound, not one of the biggest nations, but certainly not one of the smallest over the years. They continue to be successful on the world stage. The women's 50 freestyle S6 finalist led out by Ayala Tufik, a medalist earlier tonight in the breaststroke. Nora Meister from Switzerland goes in lane number eight. Lila Susigan Abate comes out for Brazil in lane number seven. Followed by Nicole Turner, the Irish swimmer, medalist earlier this week for Ireland. They're having a good competition. Shelby Newkirk was the gold medalist in the backstroke. Day two of this competition for Canada. Ellie Marks, the Paralympic Games silver medalist. We'll go for the USA in lane number three. 15 year old Sarah Vargas Blanco. Can she add another world title to the one that she won in the 100 freestyle earlier? Can Anna Hontar add her first world title this week? She has had two silver medals. And she make it gold today. She was fastest in from the qualification heat. Sarah Vargas Blanco, the 15 year old, has performed extremely well this week. And Ellie Marks, Paralympic Games silver medalist in this event, ahead of Hontar, who took the bronze medal. She goes in lane number three, and she's a gold medalist in that US relay team. Anna Hontar, they'll look very good in qualification. Just getting set on the blocks by her coach, Nora Meister, there in lane number one. Yeah, and Anna Hunter will look to get away while she's straight up and into her stroke because Sarah Vargas Blanco at extreme speed in the 100 meter event earlier in the week. But you can see it's Hunter going very well with a marginal lead at the halfway point. 
Well, Anna Hunter just hits the front now. Can Sarabar gets Blanco come back? Ellie Marks still in contention as well in lane number three. But Anna Hunter with that white cap, I think she is going to take this one. It is going to be gold to Anna Hunter in 32.75. And that is inside the world record mark. 32.78 it was, it's now 32.75. What a swim from Anna Hunter. She takes gold in a world record time. Ahead of Sarah Vargas Blanco and ahead of Ellie Marks. And a smile on her face of Anna Hunter. I don't think she can quite believe the time. That was incredible. I think she's just realized that when you touch the time pad in this pool, you can't see the scoreboard immediately, though there are, is one at each end. The in-venue announcer has a buzzer that gets pressed when there's a world record, so the scoreboard has just gone wild. But Anna Hunter there getting the result that she's shown is she has potential for all week. She's been very quick in the 100 meter races to the turn, and she's been getting there first, but coming out second. But obviously, with the 50 meters, there is no turn, and it all came together for her there. The focus of Anna Hunter in that event would have been just to get in to the wall first. She wanted to be the world champion. She wanted to beat Sarah Vargas Blanco, and she did it. And the world record, an absolute bonus for the Ukrainian. Yeah, absolutely. And she's taken that from her compatriot, Elizaveta Moreshko. Three one hundredths of a second the margin. Anna Hunter takes the gold in a world record time ahead of Sarah Vargas Blanco and Ellie Marks with the bronze. Wow, what a big swim that was. Didn't expect that one. No, we did we did back her for a victory when we were talking earlier, but that was some speed there. That was a big jump from her time that she did from qualification. Please welcome the athletes for our next record, which has stood for four years, has now gone to her country mate. Now the men's 50 freestyle in the S6 classification. Juan Jose Gutierrez Bermudez, another one of the Mexican team, comes out in lane number eight, Georgia Cefaltas of Greece. In the other outside lane over there in lane number one. Talsin Glock already a medalist at these championships twice over. He goes in lane two, representing France. Freestyle in lane number seven. Moran Shardar, the world championship bronze medalist. He may pose a threat from lane number two. Daniel Xavier Mendes, he's performed well, the Brazilian in lane three, goes in lane Manila. number six. He'll have a chance of forcing his way on to the medal podium. There, in the confident five, entrance Columbia there of Thies van Hofwegen, European champion back in 2018, the Netherlands swimmer. Nelson Crispin from Colombia, the world champion in 2017, the world champion in 2019, will be up against this man. The European champion from last year, Antonio Fantin of Italy, who set a new world record in the 100 freestyle earlier this week. Nelson Crispin holds a championship record, which he set back in London in 2019. This is the men's 50 meters freestyle S6. World record is almost 10 years old. Can that go today? Nelson Crispin in five, the world champion. Antonio Fantin, the European champion, in four. I expect Nelson Crispin to get away fast. Antonio Fantin going from the water. Nelson Crispin next to him, going from the block. It was Nelson Crispin that got away very well there, as did Talison Glock down in lane seven and Van Hoofhagen. Fanton's got a bit of work to do at this point, and he'll try and come back on the rest of the field, but going very well, it is Crispin Corzo. It is Nelson Crispin just heading. Here comes Fantine with that blue cap of Italy now. That Crispin is just about holding on now, but Fantine is coming through. He's going to go to the Italian. He does go to the Italian. 29.16 for Antonio Fantine. 
gets it ahead of Nelson Crispin, who takes the silver medal. Thies van Hoofbegen will get the bronze for the Netherlands. A championship record again for Antonio Fantin. Another medal to the Italian team. Nelson Crispin did everything he could. Silver medal for the Colombian. And the bronze medal goes to that man there, Thies van Hoofbegen. And he will be delighted to get that, the Netherlands swimmer. Yeah, absolutely. He gave himself a chance off the lock, as did Crispin Corso. And it just so happened that as Antin was getting faster as he built through the race, he went past everyone at about the point where they started to slow down. So it almost looked like Fantin found another gear and launched himself forward. But all smiles there for the Italian. Another superb swim to take a gold medal. Well, Fantin has had a great championships so far he's won the the 100 freestyle he's won the 400 he's now won the 50 it was a clear margin at the end there but he just powered through the rest of the field there in the closing stages nelson crispin 29.68 in the silver medal position antonio fantin takes the gold in a championship record time ahead of nelson crispin and an excellent bronze for the Netherlands swimmer, Thies van Hoofegen. Well, another very close race. That kind of lived up to the billing list. We knew that Fantine would kind of come back on Nelson Crispin. But he really powered through the end, didn't he? Absolutely. And Another incredible freestyle race. This is the victory ceremony yeah. for the women's Another set of presentations on their way. And this is for the women's S12. The medals will be presented by Assistant Vice President of Global Sports Sponsorship City. As medalhas serão entregues pelo vice-presidente assistente da Global Sports Sponsorship City, Adam Lasner. The winner of the bronze medal representing Ukraine. A vencedora da medalha de bronze em representação da Ucrânia, Anna Stetsenko. The winner of the silver medal representing Great Britain. The vencedora da medalha de prata em representação da Grã-Bretanha, Hannah Russell. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Brazil. A vencedora da medalha de ouro e campeã do mundo em representação do Brasil, Maria Carolina Gomes Santiago. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Brazil. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o hino nacional do Brasil. Madeira, your medal winner. Madeira, as vossas medalhadas.
The victory ceremony for the men's 100 meters freestyle S12. Cerimonia de vitória para os 100 metros livres masculinos classe S12. The winner of the bronze medal representing Ukraine. Vencedor da medalha de bronze em representação da Ucrânia. Mag The winner of the silver medal representing Great Britain. Vencedor da medalha de prata em representação da Grã-Bretanha. Stephen Clegg. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Azerbaijan. Vencedor da medalha de ouro e campeão do mundo em representação do Azerbaijão, Rahman Saleh. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Azerbaijan. Por favor, levantem-se se possível para o hino nacional do Azerbaijão. Madeira, your medal winners. Salve palmas para os medalhados. The victory ceremony for the women's 200 meters individual medley, SM40. Representing Great Britain. Vencedora da medalha de bronze em representação da Grã-Bretanha, Luís Fidesz. The winner of the silver medal representing Great Britain. Vencedora da medalha de prata em representação da Grã-Bretanha. Jessica Jane Applegate. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Great Britain. Vencedora da medalha de ouro e campeã do mundo em representação da Grã-Bretanha, Bethany Firth. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Great Britain. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o hino nacional da Grã-Bretanha.
Medina, your medal winner. Medina, as vossas medalhadas. The victory ceremony for the men's 200 meters individual medley SM14. Cerimónia de vitória para os 200 metros estilos masculinos classe SM14. The winner of the bronze medal representing Ukraine. O vencedor da medalha de bronze em representação da Ucrânia. Dimitro Vansenko. The winner of the silver medal representing Canada. Vencedor da medalha de prata em representação do Canadá. Nicholas Bennett. Winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Brazil. Vencedor da medalha de ouro e campeão do mundo em representação do Brasil. Gabriel Bandeira. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Brazil. Levantem-se, por favor, se possível, para o hino nacional do Brasil. Madeira, your medal winner. Madeira, os vossos medalhados. Here's a scene outside this Olympic swimming pool complex. Again, we don't tire of seeing this, do we, Liz? No. And the sun stays out quite a while here, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Been another gorgeous day. Good show, there's the nations. 59 nations taking part in these championships. We quite often have a flag quiz, don't we, Liz? We do. It's very difficult, though, isn't it, when they're all on that pole like that, slightly folded up. When they're yeah. hanging from the ceiling, then you can really test me. It's, uh, I was going to ask you about the medal table, but we've got it. As if by magic it has appeared. Italy 19 gold still in the lead. USA just holding off the challenge of Brazil tonight. They've had a great night, the Brazilians. Yes, they have another strong night for them. We were talking about last night where there was a few nations that got four, four gold medals each, and Brazil have hit that four again already in terms of ceremonies. Great that's Britain. what I work with, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Great Britain had a good start to the night as well. The first two gold medals of the night went to Great Britain, so they are doing going along very nicely. Just behind the Brazilians and the Americans. A couple of medals as well, a couple of gold medals for the Netherlands team. They're having a good night. And Ukraine as well. 
couple of medals for them. There's a the Spanish team. It's Xavi Torres. It's his birthday a couple of days ago. We gave him a birthday shout out. We were talking to him yesterday. He was the vastly experienced uh, campaigner for the Spanish team. Still going strong. His first Paralympic Games back in 1992 in Barcelona. What games? What games? I don't know. You were there. You tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. I know because I was there. Yeah, Xavi Torres, big star in Spain over the years, lives in Mallorca. I keep saying I'll come out and visit him, but he hasn't really taken me up on the offer. He's been saying it for 20 years, 25 <laughs> yeah, exactly. years. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll come and visit you, my good friend on the island of Mallorca. It's last when he tells you he doesn't speak English. <laughs> he does speak very good English. Yeah. <laughs> Spanish team have uh, got a lot of long serving swimmers, haven't they? Yeah, and they filter in the new athletes, and it's a great mix of it's a blend of experience and youth. Not a huge team, but again, very successful team. Ready now for the next event, which is the women's 50 meters freestyle for the S13 classification. Swimmers with a visual impairment. And first out for this final, Rebecca Redfern from Great Britain. Bronze medalist in the breaststroke a couple of days ago. Joanna Menda, uh, another very experienced campaigner, her eighth world championship, the Polish swimmer in lane number one. Colleen Young, what a swim she had in the breaststroke to win gold here at these championships. Here's one of the young Spanish swimmers, World Championship bronze medalist from Mexico City 2017, Marian Porla Lopez, Gia Pergolini, what a week she's having, taking the gold in the 100 freestyle, can she add the 50? Silver medalist in that 100 freestyle was Ayano Sojutsi of Japan. Carlotta Gile, the world record holder, goes in lane number five, and Katia Dedekind, medalist in the Paralympic Games in the distance freestyle. She goes in lane number four. Katia Dedekind, the fastest time in the world this year. But the world record held by Carlotta Gili. Record set in Rome in 2018. Championship record set in Mexico City in 2017. Dedekind. Tall figure. Gili with the blue cap of Italy. They go in the center lanes. Well, Dedekind got away well there for Australia. She will be sensing an opportunity, but Gia Pergolini, once again for USA, getting away very strongly indeed. That black cap you can see just leading the way, but Dedekin trying to come through in the center of the field. Well, on either side of Carlotta Gili, it's Dedekin just pushing through now. Pergolini also in the mix. Sajutsi going very well for Japan, but it is going to be Dedekin will take it in 26.98. It's silver to Pergolini. Another great swim from the US swimmer. And bronze to Japan. Sajutsi takes it 27.85. But Dedekin, the only swimmer under the 27 second mark, a championship record in 26.98. The world record holder out of the medals, and Dedekin celebrates she is the world champion. And you can see there what it means to the athletes. Dedekin was the only person to have broken that 27 mark coming in to this competition this year and she done, she was the only person to do it in the final as well it was enough for a championship record pergolini with that strong start coming through to take the silver medal she's having a fantastic week as are the united states of america generally but pergolini showing that speed and delivering there and Carlotta Gili locked out of the medals because it was Ayana Suzuki of Japan that picked up that bronze medal. It's a good start from Pergolini. She's been an absolute revelation this week. We saw her in Tokyo take the backstroke gold medal, but she has really stepped up the freestyle this week. But Dedekin had the power at the end to 
forge ahead of the rest of the field with that yellow cap of Australia, a championship record, and she celebrates with the bronze medalist Ayano Tsujutsi of Japan with Pergolini in the silver medal position. Katya Derekand, a championship record to take the title in the women's 50 freestyle S13. Gia Pergolini, another great swim from the US swimmer in second. Ayano Tsujutsi takes another medal for Japan. Well, the excitement keeps on coming. The, the surprises, the, the fast times, the people delivering, and Katja Dedekin will be over the moon to have uh, delivered there that championship record and gold medal for Australia. Yeah, great swim there from Dedekin. Taking that gold medal championship record. What are we going to have in this men's 50 freestyle for the S13 classification? Ivan Salguero Otesa, fourth place in the last World Championships for Spain. He goes in lane number eight. Douglas Matera, Paralympic medalist in the relay in Tokyo last year in lane one. World Championships. German swimmer, great record he has in 100 breaststroke events. What has he got in this sprint freestyle? First of the two Uzbek swimmers is Musafar Tursunkayev, World Championship bronze medalist from 2019. Krilo Garashenko won gold in that blanket finish in the 100 freestyle earlier this week. The Ukrainian, second Ukrainian, the winner of the 100 meters. Butterfly on day one of this competition it was Alexei Verchenko and the fastest from qualification only by four one hundreds of a second was Islam Aslanov from Uzbekistan, the world championship silver medalist from 2019. So in those middle lanes, we have two swimmers from Uzbekistan, two swimmers from Ukraine. Never had a male winner of a world title from Uzbekistan. I wonder if we're going to get a first one today. Aslanov has a chance. Tosunkaev has a chance. Verchenko and Garashenko. You cannot discount them. This is going to be fast. Well, they're all away pretty evenly off the block, and it is. Verchenko going very well there for the Ukraine in lane five. Aslanov has got a lot of speed down this first 25 meters and he's coming back. Well, Aslanov now trying to get back in the contention. Verchenko might just have the edge here as they come into the finish. It might be Verchenko stretching for the wall and it is Verchenko, 24.03. He takes it ahead of Garashenko. It's a Ukrainian one and two with Aslanov in the bronze medal position, just ahead of Taloso Engel. But a really fast finish again from Garashenko. This time it was silver. But he's behind his teammate, Verchenko. Ukraine, take one and two. Yeah, and it lived up to the billing. Verchenko, he got off the block well, because in the 100 metres, it was Aslanov that went off the blocks very, very quickly indeed. But not today. Verchenko got the advantage. Aslanov made some ground in the second part of the race. But then Verchenko found another gear. And Garashenko finished really strongly. And Aslanov had to settle for bronze. Well, what a great finish there. Look at that, four swimmers all coming in. Absolutely together there with Verchenko. Taking that one ahead of Garashenko. Garashenko really finishing strongly. And Aslanov in third position there from Uzbekistan. So Ukraine take the top two spots for Chenko and Garashenko in gold and silver medal position. Aslanov taking the bronze medal just ahead of Talso Engel from Germany. Oh, really close contest again, Liz. Uh, Verchenko and Garashenko, they've performed really well this week. 
Yeah, they have. They finish it strongly. We've talked about these 50 freestyles coming with so much tension behind the blocks. And Vichenko knew he had to go quickly. Aslanov looked like he'd come back, but then there was another acceleration from both Ukrainians. As I said, Islam Aslanov settling for bronze. Well, on to the medal presentations now. We start off with the women's 100 freestyle in the S11 classification. The medals will be presented by Vice President of the San Antonio Paris Council, as medalhas serão entregues pelo seu vice-presidente da Junta de Freguesia de Santo Antônio, Marcelo Gouveia. The winner of the bronze medal, representing Slovakia. O vencedor da medalha de bronze em representação da Eslováquia, Tatiana Blatnerova. The winner of the silver medal representing the Netherlands. Vencedora da medalha de prata em representação dos Países Baixos. Lucet Bronsma. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing United States of America. Vencedora da medalha de ouro e campeã do mundo em representação dos Estados Unidos da América, Anastasia Pagones. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of the United States of America. Por favor, levantem-se se possível para o hino dos Estados Unidos da América. Madeira, your medal winners. Madeira, as vossas medalhadas. The victory ceremony for the men, 100 meter freestyle S11. Ceremonia de vitória para os 100 metros livres masculinos, classe S11. Winner of the bronze medal, representing Ukraine. Vencedor da medalha de bronze em representação da Ucrânia, Mikhailo Serbe. The winner of the silver medal representing Japan. 
Vencedor da medalha de prata em representação do Japão, Uchu Tomita. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing the Netherlands. Vencedor da medalha de ouro e campeão do mundo em representação dos Países Baixos, Roger Dorsman. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of the Netherlands. Por favor, levantem-se se possível para o hino nacional dos Países Baixos. Madeira, your medal winner. Madeira, os vossos medalhados. Last swimming event of the night. Just coming up, there's the sun going down on the Pentada Olympic Swimming Pools complex on the, the hillside here in Funchal. Ah, what an exciting night we've had, Les, and it's not over yet. Point relay coming up now. Yeah, 34 points. The classification numbers of all the swimmers added up cannot exceed 34 points. The first time this has been conducted at a major international championship. So we saw very exciting heats this morning. We have, uh, of course, all the relays at these championships are mixed. So not only have we got mixed male and female we've got mixed strokes because it's a medley relay and we've got mixed classifications as well we've got to work it out tonight i think liz yeah we have it's going to be really exciting a number of the teams keeping the same combinations that they used this morning because it was the first time that it had been conducted everyone was a bit tentative to play around too much with the combinations but there have been a few changes which we will see when these swimmers come out and they are about to come out to the blocks here. Four point relay. Always been very exciting when it was male and female separate relays. It's even more exciting now that it's a mixed event. Shelby Newkirk leads out the Canadian quartet. She will go on that first leg, backstroke leg for the Canadians. Mariana Ribeiro. The yeah, freestyle medalist for Brazil, the S9 swimmer, will lead the Brazilians out in lane number one. This is one of the teams that have changed their lineup, the Italians, and what a quartet they have got. Palazzo, Raimondi, Barlam, and Terzi. There is Great Britain, led off by Alice Ty. Team of Ty, Summers, Newton, Hollis, and Carter. Oli Carter making his DB debut in this relay. There is the USA. They will be led off by Robert Griswold, the backstroke champion, the S8 class, Morgan Ray, Lizzie Smith, and Audrey Kim, their team. The Netherlands have got a good squad. Bas Tacken leads them off. 
Lisa Kruger, Florian Butcher, and Thies van Hofegen. Spain swam a very good heat. They've got a strong quartet. Inigo Lopez Sands, Anastasia Dimitrov Dimitrov, the youngster, 13 years of age, on the breaststroke. Jose Maria Alcaraz and Sarai Gascon. And there are the Australians, Timothy Hodge, Kira Stevens, Emily Beecroft, and Matt Levy. They look very good in qualification, Liz. Qualifying five seconds ahead of any other team. But the Italians have changed their team around, haven't they? Yeah, and the Italians will be expected, even though they're swimming in lane seven, to feature quite highly in this one. Palazzo did win the backstroke event. She'll be going like for like. She's an SA athlete against Great Britain's Alice Ty. They'll be on the first leg together. Yeah, Great Britain team have their lower two classification numbers going first, as do the USA. But the USA have got the men going first, and Great Britain have got the women going first. Things could change about as we go through this race. Australia and the Netherlands may be the ones to lead in this early stages. Timothy Howard, that incredible world record in the 200 metres individual medley. The yellow cap of Australia goes in lane number four. And Bas Tack in the Netherlands, S10 swimmer, goes in lane number three. One lane up from the yellow cap of the Australians. And at the moment we can see the male backstroke is all pretty even there. Robert Griswold of the United States of America going very well to hold on to Tim Hodge in that yellow hat for Australia and Bas Tacken of the Netherlands who looks like he had the early lead and just as I said that Tim Hodge accelerated into the turn and it will be Australia that turn first followed by the Netherlands and then the United States currently in third with Spain chasing him fourth. Yeah, the male backstrokers leading them out there. The two female backstrokers, you can see Alice Ty and Mariana Ribeiro of Brazil, but Timothy Hodge just being caught now by Bas Tacken in the closing stages here. Hodge with that yellow cap will hand over to the two SB9 swimmers, Lisa Kruger and Kira Stevens, who had a great head-to-head -head in the individual event. And they go in absolutely together. USA will go in third position. Morgan Ray goes in for them, their lowest classification swimmer. The S6 goes in against the two SB9 swimmers who lead the field. And in lane five for Spain, it's Anastasia Dimitri Dimitri, the SB8 breaststroker, female athlete. She's trying to claw back Morgan Ray of the United States of America. But at the front of the field now, Lisa Kruger has taken the advantage. She will go into the turn fractionally ahead of Kira Stevens. Just 0.39 of a second separating the two teams at the front. Kira Stevens had a phenomenal turn there to get back on turns with Kruger. Kruger was the champion. She will look to work this breaststroke hard. She's already swum and won the butterfly tonight. And Kira Stevens doing very well here to hold on to Lisa Kruger. And the two leaders will hand over to two S9 butterfly swimmers. Coming back there, two lanes up from the Netherlands is Brazil. Lucas Mozella going well. Also in the water is Stefano Raimondi from Italy coming through the field. Kruger will hand over to Florian Bulcher on the butterfly leg. Emily Beecroft will be going in for Australia. It's very close for third. Simone Barlam will go in for Italy. Expect him to come through the field very strongly. And now Barlam will look to make his move a bit easily. Stefano Raimondo made it a a lot of ground there on that breaststroke leg. They have, this is one of the substitutions that we're seeing come into effect here and in the lead at the moment, it is Florian Butcher for the Netherlands. She's holding on. Australia's still in second with Emily Beecroft, but now Simone Barlam pops in. He turns in fourth after Gabriel Silva de Souza, but he will look to keep flowing back. He will try and get on terms with at least Brazil by the time they come into the final changeover. But going very well still is Butcher of the Netherlands. She's holding off Beecroft. Here comes Barlam. It's Gabriel de Souza trying to get up back into third position, but Barlam will hand over in 
the lead, two to Julia Terzi, four to me. Well, is it going to be enough for the Italians? It's the female swimmer, the S7 swimmer for Italy, going against the two male swimmers, Matt Levy for Australia and Thies van Hoofvegen for the Netherlands. I don't think they are going to be beaten by the Italians now. Australia, what a swim here so far from Matt Levy. He will go over in front. Sarai Gascon from Spain on that final leg. The S9 swimmer from the Spanish team. She's gone into third place. This is going to be tight. Yeah, Keith Andrewman turning second for the Netherlands, but Sarai Gascon is less than a second behind, and now she's gone to her legs. Matthew Levy doing his best. He's used to being chased down on this final leg for Australia. He's used to putting his head down and heading for home. He looks like he's done enough. The Sarai Gascon in Spain just overhauls the Netherlands. And it looks like it is going to be gold to Australia. Sarai Gascon giving absolutely everything. She's not going to catch Matt Levy. It's going to be gold for Australia. It's going to be silver for Spain. And it's going to be bronze to the Netherlands. They will celebrate in front of us at the commentary position, the Netherlands flags and the Australian flags waving. The Spanish will be happy as well. What a race that was. The Australians taking it, but Sarai Gascon almost did the job for the Spanish team on that final leg. A really strong finish there from the Spanish athlete in your shot now. We've talked about this relay and one of the reasons they have made it a mixed relay is because it just increased the opportunity for countries to get involved and it went right down to the wire and in that shot there, Australia, Kira Stevens did an exceptionally good job of not letting Lisa Kruger get too far ahead of her. Well, a great quartet from the Australians, they, fought, they were fastest from the heats, they didn't change around their squad the Italians did but they couldn't challenge the leading qualifiers from this morning's heats things changed about Timothy Hodge gave the Australians a lead over the Netherlands it was the two breaststrokers who bought it out for the Australian and the Netherlands they competed against each other in the individual events and as the race went through onto the freestyle leg. Matt Levy, the S7 male swimmer for Australia, was chased down by the S9 female swimmer from Spain, Sarai Gascon at the end. There's the butterfly, Emily Beecroft going through. She's had a good week and she'll add a gold medal to her tally for the week. Yeah, Matthew Levy finishing up there for Australia. As you said, he's such an experienced relay swimmer. When it used to be the 34-point men's equivalent, he often swam that last leg for the Australians. And being the S7 athlete, was used to being out in front and having to hold off the chase behind him. And that experience paid off today. And the result is official. The Australian team take the mix 4x100 metres medley relay ahead of Spain and ahead of the Netherlands. Oh, we love a relay, this. We do. I'm not sure what our voices do. It's, it's so exciting, but the crowd gets louder too. And then you have to, you can't hear yourself think, but it had it all, didn't it, that relay? Absolutely. Australians were the favourites coming into this, but we thought the Italian quartet just might do something, changing their team around. But in the end, we're, uh, female S7 swimmer Julia Terzi just didn't have enough firepower at the end to uh, hold off the male swimmers or the higher class females. Here's the last set of medal presentations about to be undertaken. We'll leave you with them. The medals will be presented by Head of World Para Swimming. As the medals are entregues by the responsible of World Para Swimming, Craig Nicholson. Winner of the bronze medal, representing Mexico. Vencedora da medalha de bronze em representação do México, Patricia Valle Benitez.
the winner of the silver medal representing Great Britain. Vencedora da medalha de prata em representação da Grã-Bretanha, Ellie Chalice. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing the United States of America. Vencedora da medalha de ouro e campeã do mundo em representação dos Estados Unidos da América, Leanne Smith. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of the United States of America. Por favor, levantem-se se possível para o hino dos Estados Unidos da América. Madeira e o medal winner. Madeira, as vossas medalhadas. The victory ceremony for the men is 50 meters freestyle S3. Ceremony of victory for the 50 meters libres masculinos class S3. Winner of the bronze medal representing Ukraine. Vencedor da medalha de bronze em representação da Ucrânia. Denis Ostevchenko. The winner of the silver medal representing Mexico. Vencedor da medalha de prata em representação do México. Jesus Hernandez Hernandez. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Mexico. Vencedor da medalha de ouro e campeão do mundo em representação do México. Diego Lopez Diaz. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Mexico. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o hino nacional do México.
Madeira e o medal winners. Madeira, os vossos medalhados. The victory ceremony for the women's 50 meters freestyle as winner of the bronze medal representing the United States of America. Vencedora da medalha de bronze em representação dos Estados Unidos da América, Ellie Marks. The winner of the silver medal representing Colombia. Vencedora da medalha de prata em representação da Colombia. Sara Vargas Blanco. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Ukraine. Vencedora da medalha de ouro e campeã do mundo em representação da Ucrânia, Ana Honta. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Ukraine. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o hino nacional da Ucrânia. The victory ceremony for the men's 50 meters freestyle S6. Ceremony of victory for the 50 meters libres masculinos class S6. The winner of the bronze medal representing the Netherlands. Vencedor da medalha de bronze em representação dos Países Baixos. Dries van Hochwegen. The winner of the silver medal representing Colombia. Vencedor da medalha de prata em representação da Colombia. Nelson Crispin Corazo.
the winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Italy. Antonio Fanti. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Italy. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o hino de Itália. Vitória para os 50 metros livres femininos, classe S13. The medals will be presented by Vice President of the Madeira Swimming Association. As medalhas serão entregues pelo Vice Presidente da Associação de Natação da Madeira, Fábio Bastos. Winner of the bronze medal, representing Japan. Vencedora da medalha de bronze em representação do Japão, Ayano Sujiuchi. The winner of the silver medal, representing the United States of America. Vencedora da medalha de prata em representação dos Estados Unidos da América, Gia Pergolini. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Australia. A vencedora da medalha de ouro e campeã do mundo em representação da Austrália, Katja Dedeke. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Australia. Por favor, levantem-se se possível para o hino nacional da Austrália.
the victory ceremony for the men's 50 meters freestyle S13. Cerimónia de vitória para os 50 metros livres masculinos, classe S13. The winner of the bronze medal representing Uzbekistan. Islam Aslanov. The winner of the silver medal representing Ukraine. O vencedor da medalha de prata em representação da Ucrânia, Karilo Garashenko. The winner of the gold medal and world champion representing Ukraine. Vencedor da medalha de ouro e campeão do mundo em representação da Ucrânia, Alexei Vershenko. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Ukraine. Por favor, levantem-se, se possível, para o hino nacional da Ucrânia. Madeira, your medal winner! Madeira, os vossos medalhados! The victory ceremony for the mix. Four by 100 meter medley relay, 34 points. Cerimonia vitória para a estafeta mista, 34 pontos, 4 por 100 metros estilos. The winners of the bronze medal. Os vencedores de medalha de bronze. The Netherlands. The Netherlands are represented by Baz Take, Lisa Kruger, Florian Birche, and Thies van Hofwegen. The winners of the silver medal. Os vencedores das medalhas de prata. Spain! Spain were represented by Inigo Lopez Sanz, Anastasia Dimitri Dimitri, Jose Antoni Mari Alcara, and Sarai Gascon.
the winners of the gold medal and world champions. Os vencedores das medalhas de ouro e campeões do mundo, Australia. Australia are represented by Timothy Hodge, Kira Stevens, Emily Beecroft, and Matthew Levy. Please rise if you are able for the national anthem of Australia. Por favor, levantem-se se possível para o hino nacional da Austrália. Martina, your medal winners! Madeira, os vossos medalhados! Uh, relay teams celebrating that inaugural presentation of that 4 by 100 metres medley relay. 34 point at a major championships Australia that was a great race to finish the evening with wasn't it Liz? yeah and the teams are only going to go strength from strength to strength now as they learn how to swim that most effectively but it's it's had an effect on the medal table yeah it certainly has we've had a great night of action here Italy still maintain that lead at the top of the medal table 19 gold medals in all 14 two medals in total USA 16 medals just holding off the challenge of Brazil they had a good night Great Britain picked up a couple of golds as well three goals for the Great Britain team Ukraine coming through into the top five ahead of the Netherlands Spain picked up a few medals tonight as we go well, down to the next page you'll see the, the gold medalists the number of gold medalists hasn't changed tonight it's still the same number of countries in the gold medal positions as we go down to the winners of the silver medals ireland doing well with three bronze medals they'll be happy with their tally so far and right down to egypt who added to the list today Ayala Tufik winning that bronze medal early on in the breaststroke. Much to the celebration of the Egyptian fans. What a great night of action, Liz. Four world records we've had. Ami Omar Dedon, Gabriel Bandera, Anna Hunter, and Leanne Smith equaling that Amazing swimming time, some really fast times. A lot of emotion in the pool and the stands this evening. <laughs> It's hard to believe that we've only got two days left. It is. It's absolutely flown by the seven-day meet. That is the end of day five of action. We will be back tomorrow, 9 a.m. in the morning for day six. Please join us then.